Welcome to Music of the Spheres. I'm Cameron, your keeper, and joining me tonight is... Hi, I'm Frankie, but you can find me on my social, at Frankie on Twitter, at Frankie on Instagram, that's my main platform, at Frankie on Snapchat, at Frankie on Facebook. Just look me everywhere, basically, I'm kind of a big deal, Frankie. I'm Peter, and I work in what is essentially, you're gonna, you know it as the Uber of tech support. Um, so you can just give us a call and I'll probably just come to your house and fix your stuff, I guess. I don't give people rides, though. Hi, I'm Norman. I work downtown at the New Age Pharmacy. I can fix your ailments. Uh, make sure to get your uh, flu shots. It is flu season. But if you have some stress, maybe some lavender will help you. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm a CrossFit instructor, and I'll take your soft body and make it hard, but not in that way, in the way that you'll hurt, but in a good way. But maybe not. No weaklings at CrossFit. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Music of the Spheres is a Call of Cthulhu adventure two part, uh, in two parts using Call of Cthulhu 5th edition, because it's what I own. I understand they're all the way up to 7 now, but I have this really rad 20th anniversary version, which I think probably dates me quite a lot, but it's so good. It smells like fear. Yeah. So mm. many esters. Yeah. <laughs> Free monomers. <laughs> Free monomers and silverfish. It's amazing. Uh, so let's get started. It is a dreary October day uh, in 2022. The city of Victoria is still cleaning up from the aftermath of Hurricane Ethan, which struck the west coast of the United States two weeks ago. Um, didn't really hit here very hard, but you know, the periphery of it, down power lines, knock down branches. There's a lot of junk on the beaches that is getting cleaned up. Uh, and generally, you know, it's very lucky, but Hurricanes are only on the Adli in the Atlantic Ocean. In the North Pacific, on the West Coast, they are also hurricanes. Really? People are going to, oh, well, you're and wrong. Now, typhoons, now a thing. typhoons are in yeah. Japan. Yeah. Yeah. The entire system are called cyclones. Right. Hurricanes are on the East Coast of the United States and on the West Coast. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We learned something. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I looked this up. Ah. I did my research. Typhoons hit Japan. Hurricanes hit the Americas. Um. And you have all agreed, signed up in one way or another, uh, to beta test a new game on your mobile devices. And today is the day that you are going to go and meet the game designer, where she will load up the game for you, and uh, you can hopefully get started. She has asked that you have your evening available tonight in order to run through a quick scenario with it. And uh, otherwise, has not been Mm, terribly detailed about it, but it is a horror game. It's an augmented reality game. She described it as Pogo combined with like a couple of other different popular things. Um, and she has asked you to meet her at a local uh, cafe called STFU's, where she's rented a quiet room. But you know, it's it's one of these places that is popular with students. They go to study, um, and it also serves like good coffee, alcohol, snacks and has a bookstore attached to it. Nice. So. Sounds ideal, really. Mm -hmm. This is an idea I have had as a human being for several years. <laughs> and since I'm incapable of operating a business or putting anything into practice, I decided to just put it in my game. Love it. Uh, so that's, it's, it's early afternoon. What is everyone up to? How do you spend your days? I'm vlogging. Okay. Just walking around, taking really good pictures of beautiful things with myself in them to enhance the beauty. Mm. I'm sitting at one of the free parking lots downtown just waiting to get more calls uh, to go out and do stuff because these days nobody brings their computer in anywhere to get fixed. So, you know, I, I just sit there in my car on my phone, need something else to do. Mm. Just really reading a lot, reading the, as incomprehensible and dense of literature as possible. 
Awesome. I went to school for pharmacy. You got to learn. You got to read deep. I would like to read deep. Mm. I just set up a slack line in Beacon Hill Park, and uh, I looked amazing, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a good workout. Nice. Well, Acro yoga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the meeting is set for four. If you all want to head there now, yeah, or if you have, yeah. or if you have yeah. anything that you feel your character wants to get out before we get into the meat of things, I'm just picturing walking into the door and be like, "Hey, what up? It's your boy Frankie. This is me with the, the selfie thing coming back down. Check out this real AR thing. Just looking for more hashtag content for you. I love all of you, and you love me, and I get it." Shh. I gotta go. The host at uh, Stafu's. Uh, th there's there's a, a, a list of rules posted inside the door that basically amount to uh, conversations may take place at a, uh, a low level. No shouting, no music, no running. Uh, no influencing. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Private rooms available for rent. I'm going to take a picture of the rules. Okay. Sweet. Um, the person you're meeting, ga the game developer, is named Anna Carter. She has said that you can ask for her here, and they will direct you to the room that she is in. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I show up. I have no idea who any of you are, I don't think. Um, and I just walk up to the bartender and say, I'm looking for the room that Anna Carter's rented. All right. Uh, they, they direct you to the room. Good. You will be the second person to arrive. All right. Here is Frankie, who, well, you can see how Frankie looks. Yeah. But if you want to describe yourself above and beyond that, um, picture cheekbones and blonde wavy hair. Uh, inhumanly pretty, but small. A lot smaller than you'd think. Like photographed up close, you're like, oh, that's well proportioned human. And you yeah. get closer, you're like, oh, huh, I can see why you take photos of yourself instead of being a runway model. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sitting there on my phone, like, selfie? No. Selfie? Hmm. No. Selfie. I'm watching this all happen. I'm just kind of got this like screwed up look of mild disgust on my face. Mm. Um, what do you look like? I I am. <laughs> I am tall and gangly, uh, so I'm thin. I I move pretty fast too, right? Like I kind of am very direct, moving mm. from place to place. Um, and I just kind of come in and I have a look and I stumble to a stop and I see this guy and I'm like, and I just go and find a different place to sit down and just kind of. I don't say want to say scuttle, but basically it's like t -t 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 -t, and just kind of move over to where I'm going to sit down. And being as kind of tall and awkward as I am, and like weirdly bony, it's like I sit in the chair, but I kind of like you know ease into it. But I'm kind of like just all legs and elbows, like just kind of all over the place. Uh, I was already there, but not at the appointed room. Oh, okay. Just reading a book, waiting for the right time. Okay. You know, and just kind of walking into the room at the right time. In the book. Okay. Sit down. Wave. Keep reading. <laughs> Jessica. Uh, I'm gonna enter the room, sort of open the door, and be like, "Hey, what up, Frankie?" And then crack my knuckles real loud. And I'm oh gonna yeah, sit down Jessica, and what up? I'm gonna run up and try to hug you. And you're gonna give me a hug, and you're barely gonna get around my huge shoulders, because <laughs> <laughs> I look like an Olympic bobsledder. I'm not an Olympic bobsledder, but I've been thinking about like auditioning for the Canadian Olympic team because like apparently all you need to do is be like really muscular and quite like dense because they just need people to like push really fast and then weight down the front of the bobsled. So I think I'd be really good at that because uh, I weigh like 175 pounds, uh, but it's pure muscle because you know CrossFit. What up? Uh, so yeah, me and Frankie are friends. We know each other because sometimes he comes to my gym. But he's all about like, he's like, oh, I don't want to get any big muscles. And I'm like, that's okay. You can't get those by accident, Frankie. Uh, you know. I had a friend who, who was very insistent upon that. <laughs> she she uh, she went to the gym a lot and her friends were like, oh, I would do that. But I don't want to get like huge. And she's like, I didn't get like this accidentally. I had to work really hard to look like this. Yeah. I mean, um, running won't make me swole. I'm mm. going to eat a protein bar while I'm waiting. Okay. Um, well, sitting at the table is, is Anna. Um, she's 20-something. Um, she sits, she has very good posture. Um, no, I'm slouching. Yeah, she actually makes you kind of acutely aware that you're slouching. And uh, she puts off the air of somebody who's 
very comfortable letting other people do a lot of talking and then while somehow remaining in charge of the conversation. Um, give me a spot hidden roll. Aha. Uh -huh. I pass. Okay. Do you want to know the number or do you just want to know if we pass? If you um, give me, if you passed by more than 10, let me know. If you pass by more than 20, let me know. Okay, I passed by more than 20. Okay. When you roll percentiles, yes, and they come up zero zero zero. Uh huh. That's a one hundred. Yeah. Okay. So that's a failure, isn't is it? Is that a crit yeah. fail in this game? Uh, not for this kind of thing. Good. Also, <laughs> in Call of Cthulhu. Yes. I was just going to ask, but you're about to explain. In Call of Cthulhu, uh, success and failure can be good or bad. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to pass a certain test mm. uh -oh. because. Sometimes noticing something is really the better choice. Mm. Um, or not noticing? Yeah, not noticing something ah, is, uh -oh. is, is really a, 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 the better career choice. I'm spending so much time paying attention to her because she worked on a game and I want to get out of this, this, this job of tech support and I want to get into QA, which is where all the real money is, that I'm paying so much attention to her that I'm not looking around at anything else that's happening. All right. Um, are you trying to roll under or over? Under. 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 Yeah. So what's a pass? Uh, if you roll below your spot hidden The percentage. Skill. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I did. Okay. Well, because mine uh, is 25 and I rolled a 23. Okay. So that's one degree of success. You passed by 20 or more? I passed by almost 50. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you notice the rate at which her fingernails grow, let's say. But we'll wow. get to that. Yeah. I failed. My head is in the book. <laughs> that's fair. Um, Jessica. Anna's very well put together. She seems like a very precise person. Um, you notice that her clothes seem new hmm. and her bag is new. Hmm. It looks like it's um, it looks like it's made out of a material that was initially developed by the military to stop bullets. And it's like one of those bags that has like everything is concealed on it. But it's not like a lady's purse. No, it's like a shoulder bag, basically. Um, I appreciate it. You know which blog she reads for fashion. Mm -hmm. You know which Japanese street wear she will be wearing in two years. Um, you know how much her outfit cost. And like you, there is like a game recognized game thing mm. here going on. This is like, this is a good look for her. It, it is thoughtfully selected. Um, the spoon next to her green tea, her mug of her cup of green tea, is aligned with the wood grain on the table. Ooh. I like that attention to detail. The empty edamame pods in the dish are lined up in the same direction. Meticulous. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow. Uh, her hair is tied in a French braid, which is tracing a parabola from above her right eyebrow over her left ear and then ending below her right ear. Huh. Um, on one hand, it's the kind of thing that a student would put in right in the morning, but not in this way. Um, and she looks up from her work and is like, okay, everyone here? Cool. Uh, I'm Anna. Thank you for agreeing to beta test this game for me. I've been working on it for a while. I'm really excited to get this contract. Uh, and I would just like to get started. Who wants to go first? I'll need your phone. I take out my phone and I pass it to her. Okay. She. Um, I unlock it first, obviously. Yeah. But mm -hmm. she, she, she takes it out of its case and writes down the, uh, the model number. Um, uh, and she hands you a, uh, a barcode. Basically, okay. that you can like scan and that'll download it and unlock it. But she basically just wants like the model number and a bunch of other like information about oh, the phone, okay. uh, so that she can properly document how things interact and wants to know like the iOS or the the operating system number, all that kind of thing. And she'll go through that with with each of you mm -hmm. systematically. Uh, she says the um, the idea of the game, as as I said in the email, but I'll go over it for now is that it is a augmented reality 
cosmic horror game uh, where you will collaborate with other players to solve mysteries in the world using clues that you uncover using your device's camera or microphone or accelerometer or compass. Um, and then you have to interpret them and then use that interpretation of those clues to solve the mystery. Cool. So, I don't know, is, is anyone here familiar with Lovecraft? Yeah. H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, I have heard those words. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, he was a horror writer who came up with this whole Cthulhu mythos thing. Uh, he was kind of rabidly racist, which I don't really like. Um, and most of the games that have come up uh, based on his work have had kind of like a complete dog shit treatment of mental health, which I also don't care for. So th that isn't really going to be present here. Um, basically, the entire idea of his work was that he was growing, or he was living at a time when his own experience was suddenly being radically decentered by, you know, uh, advances in, in science, in society, and he felt really left out and uh, suddenly unmoored, probably, and wrote a lot of stories about how um, anybody who looks into the deep function of the universe would discover that humanity was living in this very privileged soap bubble on the surface and that the actual functions of it would kind of drive us all insane. So lots of interesting tentacly monsters. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, uh, any, any, any questions? I have sort of a meta question. Okay. What do you think would be better if I have two phones, one to film myself while I play the game so I can get that real good content, or is it important to be able to go back and forth between the same one? Because I could see I could see Frankie mm -hmm. having both. Yeah, I think you would have both. Whatever, like, I assume at this point there is a uh, specific model of phone that is marketed to IRL streamers that has like that folds out probably with multiple screens and a couple of different like cameras and microphones. Uh, Probably something like that, if okay. that's what you're into. So one device, one device so I can look up at it and then also see what, mm -hmm. whatever's happening? Yeah, like at TwitchCon last year, there were a lot of people wandering, or the IRL streamers were wandering around last year with like these clusters of devices on the end of selfie sticks and with like batteries and they all had one jacked arm from Sweet. holding it. <laughs> yeah. I should get featherweight just to increase the size of one arm. One arm. <laughs> <laughs> Selfie stick with a phone in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just like, well, why is your right arm so huge? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's just like your shoulder and this one, like, that whatever one this... That yeah. muscle, the trap. Yeah, yeah the trapezius yeah. muscle. Yeah. You look like, if you've ever seen pictures of uh, the people who hold booms on movie sets, they have, like, really thin arms, and then their core is just invincible from holding something up like this for eight hours a day. Yeah. Mm. All right, I didn't want to derail us too much, but thank no, you. No, no, because no. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to be in a situation where, like, oh, you're on your phone. Well, which one? And mm. just just establish what what my character has. Okay, as long as it's consistent, we can work. With it'll that. be it'll be one super rig. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, I have written the scenario specific for this testing. Uh, t the, for this test, it's an adaptation from one of the old pen and paper games. It was called The Haunting. Basically, you go and investigate a haunted house, and uh, spoilers, there is an evil wizard inside. You have to find the evil wizard and banish them. That sounds really cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Think of it like an escape room, only you're looking through your phone and you're in real world environments instead of in a closet in a, a repurposed office space downtown. Mm -hmm. um, All right. The, the game will scrape information from the internet to try to make things interesting. Mm. In the real world, in deployment, it'll probably have like a lot of outsourced writing. Um, but for now, it's pretty tightly controlled by me. I just want to make sure that the scenario, uh, or that the resources and uh, 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 the word that computer people use when they're talking about Assets. Thank ah. you. Yeah. That the assets are being deployed correctly by, ah. the, by the app. And uh, yeah, so for example, if you activate the app now, or if you open the app now. Okay, so I, I, you, I do so. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it has like some placeholder graphics. And there's several like different tabs on it. One is like labeled uh, just like camera. Hmm. And another one is like grimoire. And the other one is spells. And uh, if you open the camera, it opens the device's camera. And uh, she's like, use it to look at the table. OK. I look at the table. I look at the table. I do too, as well. On the table is a banker's box. Ooh. And I look away. Mm -hmm. No, no banker's box. Oh, this is pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can interact with that object now, if you want. So I like tap it on the phone. Yeah. The the lid comes off. Oh, cool. And several even, items yeah. like tumble out, and you all see that when Frankie does that. So we all have to play this together, though. We all have to. I can't just like go back to my car and play it on my own. You might be able to in certain circumstances. Uh, for example. If you look at the newspaper clipping that just came out of there. OK. One of the items that came out of it is a newspaper clipping. Yep, yep, OK. Uh, the newspaper clipping tells the story of a family that uh, had to be hospitalized from the Corbett estate. They were renting the Corbett estate, and they were hospitalized for suspected um, ba -ba -ba notes, please. Why do I always do this in a text file? Uh, 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 come on. Uh, uh, asbestosis. Ah. So they were hospitalized for shortness of breath, um, difficulty sleeping, respiratory ailments. Did they not know the risks? In Probably. Um, yeah, I've heard about that happening. It's yeah. really a bad thing. So she says, if you examine that newspaper clipping and you want to, say, learn more about that house, then what might occur to you is you might want to go to the newspaper and look through their archives, or go to a library and try to look up information about this house, or go to the, the city house. planning outfit office and see if the house is you know, had any oh. construction work done. So on what it. do I press to go to the newspaper or go to the Oh, house? you would bring up the newspaper. And then it was, it's added to your notebook. Hmm. So if you go to your notebook, you will see a summary of that newspaper story. But this won't like, I don't press a button, it doesn't like take me to the newspaper office. I have to like. No, you, in, in the game's deployment, you would need to go to a library ah. where you would search the library by being there and hitting the search button. I see. Um, okay. But for these purposes, this is a library. Oh, so it's like Pokemon Go, but instead of catching Pikachus, we're getting clues. Yeah, kind of. You keep saying I need more exercise. This is awesome. Cool. So we have to like walk to like the real life library. In in deployment, yes. Cool. Um, and. For tonight's purposes, I have rented the uh, Ghostwood Estate, which is a 12-bedroom bed and breakfast that will be standing in for the Corbett House. Hmm. It's off-season. It's the middle of the week. It was less expensive than I thought it would be. Um, so if you want to go there, there is a scenario set up that will play out in that house, and that hopefully everything will integrate nicely the scenario will play out, and you'll be able to banish the wizard. Ooh. Rad. Banish. Are you coming too? If you want me to, I can. Um, I think it might be better if I didn't, so I didn't interfere, because I want you to play this out using the available clues. And I honestly don't know what I don't know about this game anymore. I've been up to here with it for the last 18 months, and I can't see it properly anymore. I, oh, so we're like we're like your outside eyes looking in. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and to that effect, I will need you, I will hope that you will agree to fill out a one-page questionnaire about the, your experience tonight. Yeah, I'd be more uh, than happy with, to. With some notes, yeah. bug pro bugs, problems, any of that kind of stuff. You're my second group. The first one turned out to be a real bunch of flakes. Um, what happened to them? Played the scenario, went home, 
didn't really bother getting back to me. Huh. Hmm. Paperwork. Except for one of them. Hmm? Paperwork's very important. You have to keep up with it. I mean, it's kind of the entire reason we're doing this. So unless I can get your perspective on things, then the data I collect from the app that says, yes, they did this, and it happened, and this happened, isn't terribly useful to me. Uh, I'm really interested in what the player experience is, because it's supposed to be spooky. Mm. Mm. I don't scare really easily, but Mm. I think that's just because of, like, the life I've lived. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really know this was going to be a spooky game, but, I mean... Okay, I mean, I'm in for it, right? Mm. Like, that's not a problem. And I can, like, give you whatever bug reports you want. Mm-hmm. Not going to be an issue for me. I know how to write bug reports, and I write really good documentation. And Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, good. Any other questions? What kind of spooky, though? Is this, like, end-of-the-world homestuck spooky? Or is this, like... Dark Night in the Woods, spooky. I read a really interesting essay once that was about how horror works. And the thesis of this was that it has multiple components, or how ghost stories work. One was terror. The idea that things would jump out at you and go, boo, and you would recoil from that. And that was useful. The other element was horror, which she defined as the things you can't look away from. So the things that make you recoil and the things that fascinate you. Um, And I've tried to incorporate both of those, leaning more on the things you can't look away from than the things that are going to give my players heart attacks and might make them drop their expensive devices. So we'll want to have a strap on our phone then? Possibly. I mean, I'm really not a big fan of jump scares. I don't find them that interesting in games. Mm. So this is my own bias coming out. Um, What you will probably need is a battery, because this isn't optimized yet, and it's probably a bit of a hog. Oh, I got this. Anybody need to jump in? I got like 18 cable packs here. Yeah, you good? I got one in the car. I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hook me up. Yeah. This is Um, my rig. I like to pull like a utility belt of just like cables (laughs) and battery packs. Strapped with lithium. Yeah. Yeah, as it turns out, like the the musculature that's under that t-shirt is actually just like batteries. (laughs) My record is 36 hours straight vlogging. Formidable. Uh, She hands out NDAs. Okay, so content's pretty important. Can I be like vague about this? How how non-disclosure is this non-disclosure? Because I need Uh, that hashtag content. As long as you don't divulge how the game works Mm. and the way that I have implemented the real world things. Okay. As, you know, those are my trade secrets. I worked really hard on getting those to work yeah. properly. Uh, if you tell people that you're playing an augmented reality horror game, yeah. that would be maybe kind of nice. Because I can make an offer to you. I'm kind of a big deal. And like, maybe, maybe you know, maybe I can help you take this off. I would appreciate that, yeah. Frankie. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, so, uh, if I sign this, like, that would also improve my chances of maybe doing some more of this in the future, right? Well, I can't promise anything, but I mean, I've been working on this solo for a while. I would appreciate if you have uh, experience coding in languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, in I mobile see, development. Yeah. yeah, mobile development. Yeah, then I that would be. I go, but yeah. <laughs> Is Swift, I guess. I don't know. Actually, it would probably work too. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm signing this. I'm signing yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I sign these all the time. I don't know what the Kasumu is, but you know what? It sounds like fun. All right. Um, she hands you the. No, she doesn't. She doesn't give you the address. She's like, everything you need to play the game is in this box. Oh. So, if you care to hang out here for a little while, then you can get going on it right away. I start tapping on on the box to just keep making mm-hmm. things fall out of the box. Yeah. Okay. And like so, looking for stuff that's important. All right. Uh, there is the newspaper article. Do you want to investigate the newspaper article, or do you want the next item? I would say uh, the next item. Okay. The next item to come out is a um, uh, a photograph of a uh, a man dressed in kind of like early twentieth century garb. 
you know, the high necked. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, col or the high collared shirt and the, you know, say a top hat. I'm assuming that as all this stuff is falling out, you guys are all seeing it just kind of mm -hmm. fall onto the table mm -hmm. on your phones too, and yeah. we just can basically tap a thing to take it yeah. mm -hmm. to look at it ourselves. Yeah. yeah, I'm zooming in on that photo. Okay. Uh, you can like zoom in, and you get like the uh, you. It feels like it like a photograph should look when you zoom in on it. You feel like you can actually zoom in quite far onto it. Mm -hmm. Uh, to see the details of the printing, and you can also like manipulate it in space. Mm. You know, kind of like Resident Evil, when you can flip things over and see yeah. what's on the back. Is there a note on around. the back? There is. Ooh. <laughs> um, that was the clue. You can manipulate it. You're like, there's something on the back. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wait. I can turn this. <laughs> Check the bottom of the turn, statue. Take everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Open the. What was the game where you had to? You couldn't like search the book. It was a text game. You couldn't like look at book to find the clue. You had to open book. Oh wow. <laughs> and it was like. Come on. Um, there's a note on the back that says, uh, uh, I keep wanting to say William Corbett, but it's not. It is Walter Corbett, dated 1910. Oh. I write that down. <laughs> all right. Um, well, imagine, does all it's that actually yeah. added into your in game notebook. Oh, uh, okay. Any weird little details? Um, I have spot hidden and photography as like my two primary skills. Okay. Uh, which one do you think would be better for me to like really dive into the photos if I was looking for interesting? Because like photography could be, oh, the uh, photo was taken at this angle with whatever, or the other one would photography. be photography. Okay. Uh, I roll a thirty-seven, mm -hmm. and my skill is ninety-five. Oh. This is not an authentic photograph oh. from the nineteen tens. This right. is a uh, modern composite. Mm. <laughs> that has been doctored up to look a certain way. All right. I communicate this to the team. Well, mm -hmm. it's because it's in a video game, my dude. But what if it was real? Like, uh... We're playing a game on our actually, phones. Actually... <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> it does look like somebody took a portrait that was taken in that era mm -hmm. and put somebody else's face on it and then superimposed somebody else's face over that mm. to come up with a face that was... No Generic. Work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um, you don't know where where it got that information, but you know that that's what it looks like to you yeah. as somebody who's experienced with using image software or photo manipulation software. Okay. So it's like there's probably not really a clue in this, but it's kind of cool how they made it. Hmm. The, is there anything else in the box? Yes. There is a uh, the third item in the box is a scroll. Ooh. Ooh. Tap I on am, the scroll. Yeah. <laughs> I am leaning in on the phone. The bookworm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is uh, called the uh, the worm, actually, and it's just a long, thin uh, scroll that unwinds, and it has um, looping fluid script Ooh. in a single kind of like unbroken line on it. Mm -hmm. And as you focus in on it, uh, that script disappears and is replaced with readme.txt. I'm clicking on that on yeah. her phone. <laughs> it's like. Uh, Call of Cthulhu 0.2b, read me txt. Mm. Um, and this contains the uh, address and a series of instructions on how to play out the scenario. Ah. If you get caught or if you get stuck, you this has the entire, like, this is the cheat sheet. Oh. Um, just as a thing, like you say, if you get caught, like you, or, not like by authorities, but if you get caught out, like you can't figure things out. Yeah, you can, yeah. You can just read this. Okay. But ideally, things should be kind of self-evident. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Any other things in the box? That's it. And then I want to investigate that newspaper article because we kind of didn't. We know that okay. it's the the Corbett family hospitalized for asbestosis. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a different family renting oh, it. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, renting it in the '90s. This family has. Uh, well, actually, give me a uh, a library use roll. Ooh, no. <laughs> uh, for the purposes of this, you can add twenty to your roll. Okay. Or add 20 to your skill. Well, what a good relief. Uh, because my my 25% plus 20 then will do that. 45%, I rolled exactly 45. Okay, perfect. You Got get it. it. You're like, uh, oh, okay. And, and you, you find the, the search roll, and it searches, and it goes like the sound of paper flipping. And um, it you can search the address. You can search the newspaper. You can search the date. You can search the name. Oh, uh, search the name. Name. Uh, okay. Walter Corbett, 
um, died in 1912, uh, succeeded by his son Alfred Corbett and his grandson, or and his grandson Henry Corbett, who died in 1990, um, with no children. Uh, all property was remanded to a uh, 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 a trust, and there the Corbett House is now being managed by a property management firm. Okay. Uh, the details, just because uh, this is in my head, this is implying that the house that they got sick from asbestos is the same house that they used to own and it's now being managed? Yes. Um, and this is, the next connection is that house is the rental place that she got for us? That's mm -hmm. the, the rental place is to serve as it? Yes. Same okay, yeah. okay. Just, just making sure those all, they connected up here. Yes. And I, yeah. yeah, no, sorry if that was unclear, I, yeah, the I ghost apologize. Wood, the Ghostwood house is where we're going to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it was just, just yeah. clarifying to make okay. sure there wasn't a misunderstanding. Uh, cool. If any of you have like, I always forget if there's like, do you mind if I look at your Please. character sheet? If there's yep. like a local knowledge. Oh. Actually, no, just give me a knowledge roll, a no roll. It's in the top right corner. Oh yeah, where it says no. Mm -hmm. In the top right. Oh, <laughs> hey, I pass. <laughs> did you I, nail it again? I passed by one. Oh, oh, I did not pass. Oh, well, I don't know anything. Oh wait. Oh, I failed by one. Mm, that's too my, bad. Because my skill's forty-five, and I got a forty-six. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I got a thirty-one on a skill of forty. So okay. Nice. Uh, Ghostwood Estates is something you would recognize probably from seeing on like. Where would it even be advertised? It is advertised as like a uh, available for corporate retreats or um, you know parties or events. Is it in the city or is it like out of the city? It's in the city. Oh, okay. It's, it's in the older like part of the city. Is this like heritage house or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've like seen this advertised on Facebook. Oh yeah. Yeah, like a James Bay or an Oak Bay kind sure. of like house that you know. Uh, People don't a wedding there. might might happen at, yeah. or like a family reunion might happen at, or a corporate retreat might happen at. Right. And you said it was twelve bedrooms. Yeah. It's a f quite quite the size. Yeah. It's like yeah. a staged manner for events. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, so if you invest, you've investigated the family. Yeah. And there's a couple of other axes you can use. Uh, yeah. Let's look at the date. Yeah. Okay. Let's investigate cool. the date. Okay. Um, the date returns nothing. Hmm. Nothing else of note happened on the date. Right. What's the date on this newspaper article? Uh, it would have been this day in October 1993. Mm. Oh. Is that three years on the day after he died or not? It quite is. That? Oh, the, quin the mm. coincidence. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, those were the only notable events to have happened on those days. Okay. And it's 19 years later? No, it's 2020 now. 2022. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So oh, we've searched the date. We've searched the name of the. Uh, we searched the Corbett's. Mm -hmm. um, there was another thing we could search. Was it the newspaper itself? It was the address. It was the address. Was the other thing. Mm -hmm. And that just brings up the Ghostwood Estate. Or uh, no, uh, the Ghostwood Estate would be the real right, world equivalent. Right. When you search in the, if you were to search that address on your phone, right. you would bring up the Ghostwood Estate. If you search it in the app, you bring up. The Corbett Estate. Mm. I see. Um, and that has several hits. Mm. All right. Uh, again, and Anna explains to you, normally this would be a bit more involved. There would be like gameplay to this, mm. but I need to develop that still because this would be a role and I don't like the chance of players failing that kind of thing because okay. that sucks. Uh, so if you have any ideas, give me some feedback around that. Um, anyway, it brings up Two other news stories. Ooh. Cool. Uh, the so matches on the address. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so in 1991, two students renting the estate died of stab wounds in an apparent murder suicide. Mm. So the guy dies in 90, or the last surviving heir of this family dies in 1990. The house goes to a property management firm. They rent it out to two students who are obviously living large if they're splitting a 12 bedroom place. <laughs> but I, I oh. mean, or maybe just throwing good parties. Mm. And then they die of stab wounds. Mm -hmm. That's a very non gnarly the, kind the of thing. The Corbett to house isn't necessarily the same size as Ghostwood Estates, I don't think. Oh, mm. true. Yeah. 
And then uh, 93... Probably less good parties then. Mm. Yeah, another family rents it and they get sick. Um, but not stabbed, they get asbestos. Yeah. Well, that means they'd have to be there for a while. Yeah. All right. Interesting. What's the other article? Uh, the other one is a, uh, a rental notice. Ah. Rooms are available, one bedroom, <laughs> shared, shared bath, shared kitchen, no parking, utilities included, $900 a month. Oh, that's walking, a really good deal. Yeah. yeah. Walking distance to bus stops. Oh. Walking distance to uh, amenities. If you also give me a knowledge roll. Is that, that is, what year is that? Uh, that's contemporary. Contemporary, okay. That's a really good deal. Yeah. Ooh, you really got that roll. Nope. Uh, I, um, I failed by one again. <laughs> I failed by lots. I got it exactly? Nice. I got 100. <laughs> oh. That would be a uh, that walking distance to a grocery store. That's a good workout. That's a nice like. You that's, know, that's thirty minutes uphill. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a good solid like. Yeah, that's a good walk. That is walking distance Strong as far as you're calves. concerned. Yeah, but maybe not for most people. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's why it's only nine hundred bucks a month. What a deal, man! So it's overselling itself, but it's still good. Hmm. So I think our next step is to check that place out. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Here, pardon me for one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog this. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Frankie. So I signed up for the game. I can't tell you much about it though, because you know those secrets. But between you and me, it's gonna be awesome. So we gotta check out this haunted house. A lot of people have died. I'm with my girl Jessica. What up? What up? And uh, yeah, a couple of these cool guys. Yeah. Anyways, keep updated. Okay, bye. I just realized I've forgotten one of the uh, mechanics of the game, mm. which is when you succeed at a die roll yeah. for one of your skills, put a check, marks, check mark in the open box next to it. Wow. Oh. And when the adventure is complete, you get a chance to improve any skill with a check mark. Oh. Neat. Mm -hmm. So using skills allows you to improve them. I don't think I got anything there, so. All right. I have spot and hit it and photography. So there's really an advantage to um, making your skills really reliable early because then there's a chance of just like maxing them through the roof, eh? Yeah, although I think to improve them you need to fail on a skill check. So as your skill gets better and better, it, it's harder for it to improve. Ah. Mm. So throw those dice. Okay. Like it, it tries to incentivize the players to take chances. That sounds good. Okay. Make mistakes and get messy. Yeah. I mean, usually mistakes have no consequences in Call of Cthulhu, so don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, Anna, I guess if we're ready to go, uh, like, we've kind of seen everything in the box. Um, we have the address, and you said that they're just expecting us. And uh, mm -hmm. I, Okay, then I guess I, I, I'll just meet everybody over there? Yep. Cool. I'm, all right. Uh, uh, I, you, you guys can get a ride with me if you like, but um, there's some, like, uh, fast food wrappers and stuff in the back of my car. Like, I basically, it's my office, so it's a little messy. Frankie, you can come with me. Yeah, right on. <laughs> I walked here. Can I get a ride? Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'll just, I'll move some of the stuff out of the front seat. Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just put, I, I'll just put it back in the hatch. It'll be okay. All right, uh, mm -hmm. let's go. What Anyone happening? listening to the radio or anything? Oh, we are listening to top 40, 100 hits. Hmm. I'm taking B-roll up the side. We're listening okay. to Little Little Sump, who is the newest hit rapper, mm. and and uh, XX Con. He's mm. got six X's at the beginning of his name. <laughs> uh, he's done uh, a thing with four of the guys from Brockhampton. <laughs> what a wonderful bit of extrapolation. <laughs> I've got a, I've got an, I've got like a, a, a uh, I'm just listening to like ten hours of the Enterprise's warp drive engines, just playing over and over to the Bluetooth on my, in my car. All right, it helps me concentrate. I feel like I would be looking at all the rappers and like trying to figure out a way to say, hey, your salt level's probably a little <laughs> high. <laughs> yeah. Is the car better or worse than you imagine in terms of cleanliness? It's a 1986 Nissan Micra. Uh, and it's really? You have a Micra? Yeah. <laughs> I had a friend who loved his Micra so much. <laughs> it was basically the perfect car as far as he was concerned. All right. The car is not in good shape. Uh, we're in a RAV4 that I got from my stepdad because he was getting a new car. 
and it's great for holding surfboards. Nice. Yeah. The government wants me to get rid of my car because it is, at this point in, in with climate change and everything else, it's like they've identified cars like these as ones that need to be thrown in the scrapyard, but the I refuse to give it up. Yeah. 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 That it's, sounds reasonable. It's a 400 pound car that emits yeah. disproportionately. It was very efficient in its day, but it now, sure it's just, now it's just pumping sulfuric acid out the tailpipe. Um, can my can my Toyota Rav Four have a bumper sticker on the back that says "I Vancouver Island Tofino"? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oof. that is a very local joke. <laughs> can we make that bumper sticker? <laughs> I think I've oh, seen it already. Also, another one that just says "Namaste off my ass." <laughs> Oh, wow. It's okay. Thing. Yeah, okay. This is this good. This is the type of person that they honk and she goes out the window and flexes and then they back off. Flex and then just the single deuce. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow. I'm going to stay off my ass. Oh, I like I like my follower count. Hashtag mm -hmm. content, hashtag vlog, hashtag secrets follower count. <laughs> I wonder if at Frankie actually exists. Almost certainly. Probably. Yeah. Um. Okay. So if you're traveling to the house, then you arrive at the house unless there's something you want to stop and do. But no. nothing will prevent you or happen on the way. I'm just keeping my eye on the phone okay. at all times, seeing if there's any other Pocus stops. Mm. Oh, right. right. Yeah, I guess I should be running the app. Hey, while well, you drive, I'll run the app just to see if like any spooky things happen. Sure, that's cool. We're going to drive to James Bay, so like it's not going to take that long. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Uh, yeah, nothing, the app doesn't ping you about anything. All right. Um, but yeah, if you want to play around with it and see what it does, then that's a thing you can do. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to break the menus as much as possible. Oh, okay, yeah. And if I do, writing it down for the report. Yeah, like uh, the bringing up the various tabs, most of them are empty. The grimoire says, if, if you click on grimoire, it says no spells known. Mm. Um, your, your notebook just has like the... Um, it has the readme text, and then it's got the newspaper clippings that you've been able to uncover. And all the pieces of information that we've gained from all that. Is yeah. Like recorded there, yeah. Um, and then there is also one other function, which is like a, um, a cork board. Oh. Where you can drag things and like post them up, yeah. and then like draw lines between them. Ooh. It's just like a helpful visualization thing. I'm nice guessing definitely have that set up. We can also <laughs> share each other's cork boards with each other kind yep. of deal. Nice. Uh, is there a way, is there like a profile? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can set up a profile on this. Excellent, okay. I'm going to try and link it with all my socials. Okay. It uh, looks like a uh, publicly, or it's in the, uh, your avatar is like a uh, Steam Workshops kind of like. <laughs> it's the empty default image? Yeah, 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 basically, right? Like, you know, the ones that show up in first person zombie shooters, mm. those kinds of assets. It's a placeholder right now. Can I replace it with a photo of myself? Yes. Amazing. I spend the next remainder of the drive trying to get the perfect selfie photo. I keep asking, every time he touches something, I'm like, what did that do? What did that do? While I'm driving, I'm like, what did that do? Because I can't look at anything because I'm mm. driving. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and you are constantly filling me in on all the things you're doing. In deep detail. Yeah, which is exactly what I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you arrive at the house. It's very nice, it's very large, it's in a quiet neighborhood. And um, yeah, there is one other car parked here. Excellent. We don't recognize it though? No. Okay. It is the platonic ideal of a car. Okay. <laughs> Whatever like the, the equivalent, Toyota Corolla. Yes, it is, a four it is a four door sedan. Yes, yeah. it is a, like a, a Civic or something. A gray four door sedan. Okay. Cool. It looks like, at a guess, whoever runs the desk here. Ah. Hey, what up? It's your boy Frankie. We're about to go into the haunted mansion. You better keep tight. Look for all those spoops. All right, we're going in. The uh, the terrain here is it's rocky. Mm -hmm. There's a well kept lawn, but this is the kind of place that um, usually places around here don't have a basement, but this does. Oh, okay. mm. because typically um, basements don't work in this neighborhood. It's solid granite, right? But here, for whatever reason, it does have a basement. If I look at the house through the phone, do mm -hmm. I see anything? If I look through like the special game camera? You do. Ah. Uh, lights are on in three of the rooms. Ooh. Cool. I'll share that. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm yeah, like okay. poking at that yeah. while you're doing it. Too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. She's like, yeah. gotta check it out, guys. This is super yeah. neat. The house looks stark, but there are lights on in several places. So it's like, look at the house. Is it daylight where we are? Because it's still early afternoon? Yeah, I mean, like, it's starting to get towards dusk. But, like, the house looks normal, and then you put it up, and it's, like, dark, and then with lights on and stuff. Yeah. Oh, neat. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Spooky. Right. I'm just jamming my finger, like... Does the light do anything? If I tap the window, does it go off? Yeah. It's tied into the GPS really well, and everything's just kind of like, yeah, mm -hmm. it knows where we are. This is rad. OK. Uh, I walk up to the door to go inside. OK. Uh, are you guys with me? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. The door is unlocked. Do we ring a doorbell and knock, or are you just walking in? Uh, I, think, I think I would just walk in. I would just mm -hmm. open the door and walk in. Uh, there is a, uh, a man sitting at like a desk on his phone. He looks up. Oh, are you with the uh, Carter party? I put the phone up in front of his face. Does anything change? <laughs> While he's Sir? doing that, I say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, we're here to test an app. Sounds like fun. Uh, here are the keys. Um, he hands you like um, uh, a, a, a paper that has like a very brief like please don't fuck up our house you know if you use dishes put them in the dishwasher we'll handle it right um if you use a towel put it on the floor afterwards there'll be somebody to clean it up don't try to clean anything yourself just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah right like uh like an airbnb mm. basically. i'm just like i need this we're gonna be here for like an hour it's fine mm. whatever okay i had to use my phone to look at the paper mm. oh. anything happens no not for this. Yeah. I take it and put it in my handbook. <laughs> I'm right. collecting as much as possible. Are we going um, the the room that they're giving us? Is it uh, in relation to the windows that had lights on? Same floor, very different area. There is one light on. There was one light on on the second floor. Okay. This is a two story one basement. Right. Okay. So one light on the second floor. One light on on the first floor. And if you give me an idea roll for an that idea roll. I fail. <laughs> nice. I pass. Uh, oh no! Wait, no. I rolled sixteen. My idea is seventy-five. Oof. That was the, that was the main hallway. Okay. The light was on the main hallway, ah. and judging from where the light was in the second floor, um, it was uh, probably one of the bedrooms okay. off to the side, and then the main living room or lounge. It's a very large lounge. Uh, imagine a lot of like overstuffed leather furniture, uh, a lovely like Persian rug, mm. that kind of thing. Is there a piano in here? Yes. Cool. Can I go sit down at the piano? Do you yeah. play piano? Nah, kind of. Sick, play it's a tune. I'll, I'll make some content. So I pull the camera. About to play some sick tunes with my girl Jess. Frankie, I played piano for like two years and I was in third grade because my mom wanted me to. Yeah. I, no, this is not going to be good. Are you ready for these sick tunes? Hell yeah. Let's go, girl. Blink, 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 blink. Oh, bring up the classics. Blink, 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 blink. Blink, blink, blink. Oh, she got that. Oh, close, Darn. close, close. Right. Does my phone pick up anything from playing a, um, any music? While oh. you were here, uh, a, new, uh, a new visual field appears on the, the phone with oh. the camera, which is a... Um, it looks like a waveform. And right now it's kind of just like a heartbeat going yeah. across at an even at an even pace. Mm. All right. Hmm. Well that's not that's not a microphone then. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. Well when if you talk, then you see the that waveform appear oh. in that. So cool. it's just matching whatever audio it's hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there's a heartbeat whenever we're quiet? Yeah. Neat. You assume that's an atmospheric thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly. I, mean, I would assume so. Mm -hmm. Should we head up to our room? Yeah, I mean, like, is there anything else here on the? I, I like, we're, we're standing, we're standing in the, in the hallway. Or are we in the main? You're in room the, the foyer. We're in the foyer. Uh, foyer. The the desk attendant has left. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like five o'clock now. Yeah. Um, he's left the keys. As a formality, but it's got like a lock. When you leave, it'll lock behind you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, the door is currently locked from the exterior, mm -hmm. but we could just turn the knob to get out. Yeah. And we could leave if we wanted to. 
Yeah. Yeah. Before we leave, I scan over the piano keys just to see if there's anything left on them oh. as well. Not really, but your phone does. Um, uh, it uh, buzzes a bit when you're in this room. Just, just in. Well, we haven't in, left the room. But. Yeah. In in. How I should have done this before. May I see your character sheet? Yep. Please. Oh. If you scan around the room mm -hmm. with the camera, um, the rug is highlighted in red, just with like edge detection. If you've ever seen a camera autofocus, yeah. it does that around the Persian rug. I am immediately going to it and jamming on. Mm -hmm. uh, it won't let you interact with it until you get close to it. Yeah. And I'm also saying, hey, dude, come over here. Yeah. Um, if I. So I see this now too. Mm -hmm. So I go to touch the rug in real life. Okay. And Ooh. and peel back a corner. Does the edges just go with the rug, don't it? There's actually yes. yeah. Yeah. Um do you do you pull the rug off? I just I pull the rug up so I can see what's under one corner of the rug. Uh underneath the rug is a hardwood floor. On the camera is uh what looks like a circle. Oh. Like a part of a circle that's covered? Yeah. Okay. So, so put that back down, mm -hmm. and then the rug is highlighted. Yeah. I tap the rug, <laughs> revealing a magic circle. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> magic circle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, to roll, roll a cult. A cult. Ah. <laughs> See if I recognize it, because my character likes to read incomprehensible and dense books. <laughs> and occult books are that. I got a sixteen. And my occult is 55. Ooh. This is a, uh, you do recognize this as being like the second or third Google image search result for Magic Circle. <laughs> oh, I've it's, seen that before. It's, it's semantically devoid. Yeah. It, it means nothing. It is like um, uh, the, liter, lit, it is literally the Google image search result. If you look for this kind of thing and you need to put something somewhere. And I have looked for it and I've seen it and I'm like, mm -hmm. Okay, that's stand-in graphic, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's like, oh, we found I'm, their budget. I'm mm -hmm. writing in on the thing stand-in occult graphics. Yeah, they even hire an report. artist. Yeah. Well, is like... it big? It is the size of this Persian rug. It, okay. Like idea feet roll. By oh, okay. Idea roll. Uh, eighteen versus like seventy-five. Making Snapchats or something. It is piano. large enough for four people to stand inside comfortably. Ooh. Interesting. What a coincidence. And it does seem to have that kind of geometry when you look at it. Oh, okay. Does it have like four inner circles inside the circle? Nothing that quite explicit, but there's definitely like... A space for... Yeah, there's person. negative space inside of it mm -hmm. where somebody could stand. Neat. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, want to do a seance? I kind of want to just look around some more and see if anything else like highlights. That was cool. Uh, all right. Um, I guess we should stop screwing around and maybe look for clues. Yeah, all right, hold on. Okay. <laughs> what did you guys find? A magic circle. It has room for all of us if you want to do a little black magic. That yeah. sounds like a really bad idea. Hold up your phone and point it where the rug is. Like, I'm not, cool. I'm not I don't want to say like I'm afraid of anything, <laughs> but maybe not. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, like, it's a game though, Frankie. Come on. I told you, I'm not afraid of anything. So your phones will attempt to guide you along certain paths. Yeah. But for the sake of uh, letting you actually do stuff, I want everyone to have spot hidden rules. Please, okay. In order to interpret the somewhat vague information that your phone is trying to send you. Oh, that's rare. Oh, oh wait. cool. All right. Go for it. Oh, that's backwards. Oh, yes. oh I did really bad. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, Whew, you really... Rolled high there. I, got I failed. You failed? I got a two. Okay. Oh. I got a 19. All right. I rolled 54 versus 85. Okay. Um, and I'm supposed to be like the spot hidden person. Ooh. Oh, well. Sometimes, sometimes the rolls don't go, go our way. Uh, P 
Peter, um, you notice in the hallway on the main floor, there are a series of photographs that the um, app highlights, the camera highlights. Um, Jessica, you notice that um, when you elevate the phone, it highlights, um, it, it seems to buzz happily, you want to say, when it looks at the second floor. Oh. I think it wants us to go upstairs. And Norman, mm -hmm. uh, you think it wants you to go into the basement. And I'm going to tell people immediately, hey, this wants me to go to the basement. Anyone, anyone want to come with? I want to check out these photographs before we go down or up anywhere. Like, do, you guys are seeing this, right? You guys are seeing all the highlights of all the photographs, right? Or are they? And I'm going mm -hmm. right over to double check yeah. across. Yeah. The uh, in the real world, these are just like a series of photographs of the house and the neighborhood. And it's like, you know, this is our neighborhood in 1930. How quaint. This is, the, you know, this is the bustling world of tomorrow. This is the family who originally lived here. But in the app, it's a series of very uh, uh, gothic looking family portraits, Ooh. right? Of like uh, this grim looking family. Um, and then the second one is apparently the next generation of that family. And then the third generation of that family. Do they we recognize? Yeah, do they look anything like the guy that the was in clipping. the other picture? Or would Vaguely. I recognize any of those photos as stock photos? <laughs> Give me spot hidden rules. Oh, wow. Me too. I missed it by one. Damn it. Really? <laughs> yep. What's your spot? 80, 80, 85. Yeah. Better than mine. Yeah. We both got a 24. Oh. Mm -hmm. How unusual. Yeah, so we both passed. Mm -hmm. uh, we both failed. There is a striking fam familial resemblance in the uh, pater familium. Fa pater familia. The, the father of the family in all three pictures looks kind of similar. There's definitely... This is definitely like... Walter Corbett and his son Alfred Corbett, and then their son Henry Corbett. Um, but to anyone who's any massive degrees of success in your spot hidden rule, like mm. I've scraped by. Yeah, I, I failed, failed by one. Yeah, yeah, we passed. We both passed by one. Uh, the uh, eyes are the same. Oh. Because uh, the question my character would think is, oh, is there an immortal in this family? <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is the same eyes mm -hmm. in all three men. Got those Corbett eyes. Mm. I try to take one of the photographs off the wall mm -hmm. when I, like, in real life. Mm -hmm. And if I move it in real life, do I see anything? Uh, the the wallpaper might be slightly discolored, right? From the okay, from from sunlight. And then on the fo on the phone, I don't see anything from having moved it out of the way. No, just the photograph just moves with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It tries to it like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your phone gets warm. <laughs> so now our other Can't options are phone upstairs in the basement. Let's go upstairs because it's definitely not not the scariest option. Because why would I be afraid of a basement? I mean, if you're worried about being scared, like, I'm not at all. Yeah, but if if anyone, okay, fine. If anybody was worried about being scared, it's yeah, still light out right now, and so don't you want to go downstairs while the while our friend the sun is out? I mean, if you were scared about going downstairs to the basement for not, whatever reason, not that I am, but that's a good reason to do it. Maybe before it was dark, so that we don't have to drain the battery flashlight, even though I got battery packs for days. Oh goody! <laughs> whatever, man. All right, <laughs> all right. So I'm leading the charge for this. <laughs> You ascend the staircase. There is a similar you, hallway to the... We're going to the basement. Oh, you're going to the basement. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. sorry. Yes, you descend into the basement. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Frankie. And I just want you to know that if I die in this basement, I've always loved you and I've appreciated your support for all these years. <laughs> <laughs> that actually got me. <laughs> you, got, you got me a little and bit, me too. too. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm so sorry. laughs> seen me winding up. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we see in the basement? <laughs> uh, it is a um, storage area. There's a large furnace. There's a large water heater. Um, there is like um, uh, cellar doors at one end of it. And I am frantically scanning yes. around. Uh, Are the lights on down here? 
in real life? Mm. Is it like just really just pull for a single light bulb? Yeah. Damn. I'm not saying my character is trying to piggyback Jessica, but I am as close as I can physically be to Jessica without being on her. Ah, okay. Hey, what's up? Fra Frank, he is spooked now. <laughs> no, I'm not scared. What are you talking about? I'm not afraid of anything. I've, I've lived a really hard life. Um, Frankie. Hey, what's up? You went to smoo. <laughs> That's another very Victoria joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Um, so, as you look around through the phone, your phone highlights a circle drawn in the dirt floor. Not actually dirt. But the phone shows you a dirt floor uh, of, of, of the basement. Is it? Give me an idea roll. Okay. Right. Oh, Ooh. nice. Huh. You're rolling well right now. Yeah, apparently. Uh, 15 versus 75. Whoa. I crushed it. Mm. I barely failed. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I got an 11 on 50. Ooh. I have a light pass. OK. Uh, this seems to be below the one in the living room. Aha! That's where my brain was going. This seems to be exactly below the one in the living room and looks exactly like it, only instead of being like drawn in um, like blue paint, like the one in the living room almost seemed to be like made of inlay. Mm. Uh, this one is traced in the dirt with <clears throat> a knife placed at its center. In, in the dirt? Or uh, laying on the dirt? Laying on the dirt. A virtual knife, I assume. You, on where the knife is, is a box Ooh. in the real world. Are there any other boxes, or is this box just sitting around in the middle of the floor? It is a box sitting in the middle of the floor. It is an Amazon delivery box. Ooh. Is it sealed? Yes. Are there any markings on it that say it belongs? Like, is it? It's completely out of place. Yes. Okay, so it's it might conspicuous. Be, here. It's conspicuous for for somebody to have discovered it. Yes, yes that, is a, that is a planted prop. Yo, my fit, my followers love unboxing videos. All right, Frankie. I mean, you're feeling a lot more confident. Why don't yeah. you unbox this? This is a comfortable thing. I, I I'm back in my I'm back in my comfort zone. Mm. Hey, what up, everybody? It's another one of your favorite things. Unboxing with Frankie. Let's get right into here. So we've got a classic looking Amazon box. Good, good. And and I'm gonna mm. like try and open it now. Can I yeah. just like <clears throat> just go <laughs> to like tear through the tape? The yeah, yeah. you would need to cut through. All right. Absolutely, Here. with your strength, yes. Wow. There you go. <laughs> no nice, checks needed, nice. you just do it. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to start, like, while looking through the phone, mm -hmm. which I'm assuming can run, like, my camera and the app simultaneously. Yes. Just, like, start opening it. and I, uh, what... Like, the, the phone is showing you a, um, a curvy ceremonial dagger. I Whoa. recognize the type of dagger. Yeah. It's a, um, a a, basically a... a yeah, a Chris knife, which is you know a very specific thing, but for most purposes, this is a Hollywood evil knife. Yeah. Ah. Um, oh, check it out! I got some type of like wizard knife. Yeah, this is um, rad. Uh, uh, if any, does anyone look at the box itself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the box invoice on the front shows one knife, to comma toy parentheses plastic. Right. Um, Who's it addressed to? It is addressed to um, Anna Carter mm. at this address, and it also has the markings of one that was delivered by drone. Is it oh. is it identical to the one, like the design of it is identical to the one that we're seeing in the phone? No, it's more like the the one we have in the prop room. Okay. Actually, like a, a, a fake, like Bowie knife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like kind of. like the Halloween kind of like. awesome in spirit Halloween. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, only that's not what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What you pull out of the box is a um, heavy German kitchen knife. Clean or dirty? Uh, clean. It's still wrapped. Okay, good. <laughs> but it's in like that that box. You know, like the 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 plastic clear box. If you ever go to a kitchen store, I say that's not a Chris knife. <laughs> it, this is. Um, this is an expensive knife. It's like a Henkel or something like yeah. that? Yeah. 
Huh. It's, oh. it's the Henkel knife with two dudes on it instead yeah. of one dude. Oh. <laughs> That's why, yeah. 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 Oh, uh, the German. <laughs> huh. My mom's got some of these. These are expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, good for Anna. Amazon screwed up. She ordered a plastic knife and she got one of these. Huh. Oh. Neat. And then so, yeah, looking at the camera, it's a fake knife. And in our hands, it's like a, a packaged, real good kitchen knife. Yeah. Yeah, this is a get, right? If you paid two ninety nine for a plastic Halloween prop and got a $140 drop steel or carbon steel kitchen knife. I'm writing down this discrepancy mm. in my notes to tell her later on. Yeah. Cool. Hey, good for Anna. I mean, <laughs> but what are we going to do with it? Like, we don't, we don't need this. We don't need the knife. It's Ooh. just... What if we solve um, with a puzzle later? I'll hold on to it. Why okay. don't we just like, oh leave God. it at the front desk? I forgot something. Oh. This was gift wrapped and it had a little note. Oh, oh. what does the note say? The note is a barcode. I, I will like scan. A, yeah, it's like a QR code. When Here, you scan it, it, then the Chris knife enters your inventory. Ah. And you can manipulate it. Oh. OK. And I'm manipulating it in the <laughs> app to check all its surfaces. No, we can all see it, but it isn't in one person's inventory? Or is it it's, in? It's in all of your inventories. OK. okay. It's like clue found. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's kind of neat. Yeah. She gave us, I don't know, do you want to just like leave the knife on the front desk? I don't think we need this for anything. Okay, two things. Option one, we leave it because it's safer. Option two, maybe we need it. Secret option three, maybe I can use it to protect myself. Not that I'm scared. My dude, she meant to send us like an Amazon toy knife and what happened was she won the Amazon nobody cares who works there because they're not paid enough lottery. Do you, mm. do you even know how to fight with a knife? Because I've taken a lot of close quarters combat courses and uh, you need to know how to use every weapon that you're going to use if you're ever going to fight somebody with it. Are you saying that I wasn't hard and I haven't been attacked by a knife I'm, in my extremely tough upbringing? I'm just asking because learning how to fight with a knife is not a common thing that people would, would learn how to do. I mean, I learned how to do it, but it's not exactly something that <clears throat> that I would like spend a lot of time doing. Like, I, I, I totally know, but like I don't have to prove it or anything. No, like, I'm not asking you to prove it. I just okay. want to be sure you knew how to use His it. His parents are from the uplands. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll put the knife at the Local desk. jokes. <laughs> um, okay. We'll just pick, I guess we got to pick up the knife and carry it upstairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we take the box? We yeah. should probably take the box here. This is a tripping yeah. hazard for the people who actually work here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, wait, yeah. is there anything else in the basement before we leave? Um, if you look at the circle, mm. the text around the edge of the circle is actually legible. Oh. It's, it's in English. Or cool. it's in it's in uh, the English alphabet, like Roman least. Roman yeah, Roman, Roman, Roman characters. Yeah. Yeah. And I uh, like it's, scanning. It's around. nonsense. Yeah, oh. but it is parsable. Yeah, was that cool. same text also on the one upstairs? Uh, it was, and I neglected to mention it. That's okay. Is there any way we can take like a photo of this in the app? Absolutely. Cool. Um, yeah, it it transcribes the text, and then you can actually like the text off and it even has like a little animation oh. as the text I detaches from the circle and is read in a line. I bet you'll find like a totally rad cipher or something. There's can a we, code. Can we, can we scuff the circle with our fingers? Or uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you can interfere with it if you want. I, let's not, I'm not gonna, I'm not yeah. gonna, but yeah. I just wanted, to, I touched it, it, I could it, see the dirt move it, and I'm like, oh. It has hit points. It gets blurrier, basically. Ah, okay. All right. Or it seems to have hit points. Yeah. I don't want, like an angry wizard. Yeah, I don't want to do anything. Is, it, is there anything else in the basement? Um, Just an empty room no. with one box? Yeah. Right. And a light bulb Well, thing? and probably like an industrial freezer. And stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. washing machines. Yeah, is that, like, yeah washing machine. Yeah, good good call. Washing machines, uh, several deep freezes. Sure. Um, uh, racks of like towels and sheets. Right. I'm opening the deep freeze with a phone, scanning it. Like, uh oh. Uh, it is the off season, so it's remarkably empty. Hmm. Cool. All right. Um, I think we're just yeah. going upstairs now. Yeah. yeah, I'll go upstairs. I'm going to carry the Amazon box and its packaging. Okay. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Frankie heading upstairs. Never afraid. Hashtag never afraid. Yeah, what's up? Clunk. Hmm. Um, okay, so you're going up to the second floor? Yeah, you I said it's the next thing we have to do. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave the Amazon box and the gift wrapping and all of that detritus on the front desk. Mm. Uh, 
Frankie, do you want to hold on to this still sealed knife if it will make you feel better? Yes. Okay. This is because you were talking about the plastic, like the wrapping it's in. Is this a presentation box or is this actually like blister pack wrapping? Because uh, blister you know pack when you go to like the inside. bay yeah, and yeah. Uh, they're on like a pin necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. That but kind it's, of but like, it's like sealed edges, so you'd have to like. You have to have out. a knife to get your knife out. No, it's the one where you open the top. Ah, it's thank a box, you. not okay. a not a clamshell. Yeah, you it's, a, be sure. it's an expensive it's an expensive knife, so it comes in like a case that you take the lid off, and it's probably nestled in foam. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. More like a. a um, yeah, a, a hard plastic case. Neat. Mm -hmm. Okay. As we're what, passing by to go upstairs, I'm just scanning the circle. Is there a knife in the middle? Oh. Uh, no, it is now gone. The, the whole circle? circle's gone. Oh, no, no, the, the knife is gone. Oh, the, yeah. I okay. mean, like, in the... On the first floor. Foyer. Oh, on the first floor. Yes, the the uh, the circle is still there. Okay. Yeah, the knife was only in the basement one. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Head upstairs. Yeah. Um, it seems to draw your attention to the bedroom that you saw with the light on earlier. Cool. All right. Uh, let's. Um, and it's just showing that, so it's like I'm. I go for the. I got my phone up, and I just open the door, and throw it open, and just kind of scan around the room, and mm. start to walk inside, and you know, kind of just having a look. Uh, give me spot hidden. Mm. Aha. Back. I made it. Okay. Uh, it is a bed with a bedstand table. There is a closet. Um, it looks like a hotel room, basically. Only, like, the pillow looks like one of those pillows that if you put it up on its end, it would just, like, slump down <laughs> slowly. Like the kind of pillow that you could accidentally suffocate in if you rolled over at night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Like one of the ones where it's the down is so fine, it's like liquid. Mm. Um, and the television in in real life is just a television, but in the app there's a VCR next to it, Ooh. like an old VCR. Wow. Is there a... We have not encountered any disc thingy. Tapes. Tape. Thank you. Cool. A clue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Does anyone remember how to use one of these? Uh, how old are all of you? Yeah, my character probably wouldn't know how to use one of these because I would have been born in '99. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's when our characters are the same age, right? Yeah. Yeah. How old is your character? I'm 32. Uh, mine's 26. You'd be the the oldest one here, and I don't even really get. You yeah. would have been born in 1990. Oh, I might have seen one. Yeah, yeah. you would have. I would have been five or six years old, and yeah. it would have been in one of the house. Yeah. Yeah, you might have watched Little Mermaid on this. Yes, you're right. Or the original Star Aladdin. Wars. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 when it came out on TA with the THX re-release. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you probably wore through like, I'm not gonna tell you, but I wore through Return <laughs> of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah. And I was like in my teens, so. Yeah. Uh, I think that this is worth stating, yeah, so uh, Jessica and I are both 23, you're 26? Six, yeah. I'm 32. Nice, yeah. okay. We're gonna count on your wisdom. <laughs> I mean, I, it's. It's VCR. I don't understand why you guys don't get how to use this thing. What do, what do I do with it? Where do I put the discs? No, cassettes. Big black rectangle cassette has tape on it. Tape? As soon as you say that, I'm just scanning for something that looks like that around. Okay. Right. Um, there is a tape loaded into this VCR. Oh. So you would just need to hit the button with the triangle on it. Okay. I know what that button does. We should all know the icon iconography. Boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, not on the TV, but the screen is replaced by by a video. Mm. Oh. Um, and it is static with like this weird visual distortion at the bottom. Um, like the tracking's off. Yeah, that you would recognize as tracking, but might seem like odd visual distortion to you. Mm -hmm. uh, and the video plays the static for a little while, and then it um, fades in to an image of the man from the, the portrait from the hallway. Um, the eldest one or the youngest one? The eldest one. Okay, so he should not have been around long enough for there to be VHS of him. Yeah. But is uh, it, wait, is it the man or just a, is, did somebody film his portrait? It looks like somebody filmed the portrait. Mm. Weird. Uh, only 
this is not the same face, but the eyes are the same. It is, give me an idea roll. Actually, give me a disguise roll, Frankie, okay. if you have disguise. Good one for you. I passed uh, by 40. Okay. I passed by 21. I passed by 40. By 52. This image is that man's face composited with another person's face. Huh. Similar to the photography thing that I noticed earlier? Was yeah. the photography thing lazy or was this actually the same technique now? This looks like if if that was done in Photoshop, this might have been done in a free version of that. Hmm. Um, it's yeah, somewhat cruder, but uh, you you definitely recognize how this was done. Is it a face we recognize being composited in? Um, it would be like somebody took the other man's face and remixed it hmm. somehow. This already composite image face has somehow been further distorted with somebody else's hmm. by being superimposed with somebody else's, but the eyes remain the same. Um, there is like an indistinct noise on the soundtrack under the, um, the static. Anyone have a listen? Uh, I'm looking at the yeah. line on the phone for the audio, mm. ingoing audio, I guess. Uh, give me an idea roll. Idea roll. That is a fail. Mm. Yeah. Give me an occult roll. Occult roll. Okay. And occult is... That's a fail as well. This is not quite... It doesn't match up with the text from the circle. Mm. Oh, the sound doesn't... Like, it's, it's... The sound is... You recognize it as... Um, a, a voice. Mm. I thought you were comparing it to the text from the circle. Oh, I well, I was just kind of looking at what the input was looking at. But I guess oh, looking oh, oh, at oh, if you're inventory. looking at the waveform, the waveform, yeah, yeah. waveform. Um, definitely a waveform. It, the waveform is picking this up. Like, there's a lot of noise in the waveform from the static, but there is also like. Can I touch the TV and? Uh, like if I touch the TV, does it, does anything happen? Do I bring anything up, like additional information or anything? No. No. Is there as I scan around the room, is there like a remote control or something sitting on a desk? There's no sort of volume buttons on the TV I can interact with. Yeah, you can you can actually like pause the video by poking it or okay. by tapping it, and then the tracking bar comes up at the bottom so you can scrub okay. through it. Okay. I'm trying to drag and drop items in the inventory onto the TV. Uh. It does not interact. Mm. Okay. It's just like we're going to Sierra online this shit by just throwing stuff at it until <laughs> something happens. Yeah, it's like an old Sierra. Yeah, yeah Sierra yeah. online game. Yeah. Use, use mayonnaise on gate. Yeah. Ooh. Use apple on gate. <laughs> use oh. shoe on gate. All right. Well, this you is climb the gate. <laughs> Why? <Yeah. laughs> this is uh, this is unsettling. Do we do um, we have to keep staring at the scary man's face anymore? Like the the, the man's face disappeared like after. It, it flashes up, and then more static, and then the face of the next man, of the, the sun, appears. And it is composited in the same way. Can we tell how long this video is? Uh, it looks like it's... Um, like we're partway through it. Yeah, it, it looks like it's um, uh, about 40 minutes long. Oh, Oof. wow. But there only seems, like if you scrub through it, yeah. it's all static, except for like a couple of flashes of stuff near the beginning. Huh. What if I, what happens if I scrub all the way to the end? There is one image at the very end. Ah, what's at the very end? Roll sand for me. <laughs> that's all not this? good. Yes, we're all, we're all if watching you're all it. watching. Why wouldn't we be watching? Jessica has scrubbed to the very end. <sighs> I was thinking oh, of not well, watching, but here we are. Well, that's a fail. Ooh, that's a fail for me, too. I passed by 40. Okay. I rolled 52 on a 50 sand. Uh oh Everyone who failed loses one sand point. Um, if you passed, that's fine. You don't lose anything. It is a picture of Anna. Um, only her eyes in this picture are milky white. Yeah. 
and it's one frame at the very end. It's just like a startling, um, like crystal clear image. It looks like a, a picture pulled off like Facebook, maybe, or like a, a high school yearbook picture. It's it's an older picture of her, but you know it's her because yeah. we can tell immediately. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Frankie. We just got some like jump scare stuff going on here right now, and yeah, this game's pretty rad. This game's pretty rad. Having a good time. Getting a little spooked. Not that I'm scared, you know, just hamming it up for the camera. <sighs> I scrub back about like 10, 15 seconds mm -hmm. and hit play. Yeah. Uh, and then that's it. Yep. And just and then it stops and disappears? Uh, no, it holds. It holds on the last frame. It's the very last frame. Okay. Hmm. Scrub back to the beginning, mm -hmm. press play again, mm -hmm. turn up the volume on my phone, mm -hmm. and listen. Okay. Um, Which I have a listen skill. I could roll listen against Yeah, uh, roll well. listen or idea. I would rather roll idea, I think. Okay, roll idea then. Roll listen. Ooh. 55. Ooh. Pass by 20. I pass by 51. 51. I have a listen of 75 and I rolled 21. Or, okay. Sorry. That's a bit wrong there, but. The audio track that is being played is the text on the circle, but it is backwards. Mm. I'm telling people that. <laughs> yeah. It is recorded backwards. Wow. If I open the document and I try and read the sentence backwards, does it is it words suddenly? No, it's still nonsense. But it's just roll a cult. Roll roll a cult. And I, while I'm doing this, I'm asking him, hey, tech dude, do you know how to play this in reverse slowly or something? I, well, I mean, I've never seen an app like this exactly, but... Um, um, pass by 30. Okay. Uh, if the interpretation of this might be that if the text in the circle bound something, reversing it might release it or banish it. Well, one of those is good and one of those is bad. Yeah. yeah. Release bad, banish good. What's our goal here? Do we want We're supposed to be demon, banishing or? a wizard, remember? Oh, okay. Is it banishing or defeating? Banishing. Banishing a wizard. That's what we, Anna said. Yeah. I think I think the old dude is the wizard. And he's been like casting a spell to keep his eyes going on to future generations. Ah, so he's like reincarnating himself. Yeah. But then the last, the son dies with no heirs, so maybe now his spirit is all in here and is pissed off because he doesn't have a young, hot body to inhabit. Mm. Maybe he's after our bodies. He's going to go after your body first, Frankie, because it's so very cute. Like, I get that I'm cute, totally, but I'm frail. You maybe he'd want a big, strong body. Oh, he doesn't want a woman's body. These, these old tiny wizards are all misogynistic. It's fine. <laughs> he'll never see he'll never see the right hook coming. Right. And then the left hook, because I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> uh, is there anything um, I hit stop on the mm -hmm. on the VCR? Um, and I hit eject. Mm -hmm. Does the tape come out? Yes. I remove it from the VCR and hold it up. Is it labeled in any way? Uh, it is labeled with um, uh, October 1st. That's today. And also the day of the other events. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm. Uh, do we add that as a clue to our inventory in the app? You certainly can. Mm -hmm. I uh, do. I add it, that as it appears as extremely cursed videotape.mp4. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm putting it on the pin board around. Cursed image.jpg. Yeah. In the photos. Um, I'm just going to quickly exit out of my app for a second, mm -hmm. pull up Safari on mm -hmm. my iPhone 11 XS. Sure. <laughs> so it's not the newest iPhone yeah. in 2022. I'm just going to quickly Google Anna Carter oh. and see what comes up. Um, because that picture was weird. Yeah. You find uh, her Twitter. It's not really active. You find... Um, How many followers? It's very important. Mm -hmm. 400. Mm -hmm. You right. recognize some like 
indie game dev people? I feel like you would recognize the most people out of the followers. I mean, yeah, I would know them as names of, of people whose games I've played before in the past. I'm like, oh, I know yeah. this guy. I know who he made. I know what he made. You know, yeah, the, oh, I know what she made. You know? Yeah, this game won an award, and this was at, like, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, the alley in PAX. Oh, like in the Indie Mega Booth. Indie Mega Booth. Yeah. This one breaks someone's computer once, and I had to fix it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's reasonable cred. Yep. Uh, then whatever, um, she has a Facebook profile for whatever I've decided Facebook has been balkanized into by 2022. <laughs> um, uh, and then like a LinkedIn profile. All the various stuff that you would associate. Uh, there's uh, further down there is like a game jam that she has gone to. Okay, a couple so of a, years a running. real a real human with real social profiles. Well, it yeah. sure looks like it, doesn't <laughs> it? Yeah. Like, and I'm like scanning the browser on that phone with my phone. Oh, can we? Okay, how about this? Um, tape back in the VCR. Turn it like mm -hmm. like. <laughs> Top loader, like oh yeah. my god, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> top loader, yeah. hit play, scrub to the end, well, get back. Before you hit the... play, before you go to the cursed image, I'm going to wait in the hallway. I don't want to see that. Okay, I'm not, I'm not scared, but just maybe, maybe just a different perspective would sure. be great. Okay, so I'm going to wait in the hallway. So, scrub to the end, where that frame is. Mm -hmm. Can I take screenshots? Yeah, take a screenshot. Mm -hmm. All right. I close the app. I open up Google. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I reverse image search. That image. Do I find anything? It is her. Um, it is a picture of her taken in her graduating class for her BSc in I think mathematics was... and computer science. Oh, okay. It is a group picture. Is it? Yeah. But all the eyes are intact. Yes. Okay. So it's an edited. Yeah, edit. this is an edit. Okay, that's fine. She's put a spooky Easter egg in her own game. Probably. How dare she? Yeah. Well, <laughs> self-insert. Probably to prevent people from like lifting and stealing this. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's all it's about. Maybe it's just to startle players, uh, just for fun. I mean, it startled us. She said she doesn't like jump scares generally, but. Well, yeah. She didn't say absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> um, scrub back to. Uh, because we got to the point where the second guy comes up, <coughs> and we hit play. How long until like, or if, if I scrub through and you can see when it shows the, because th I'm guessing all three mm -hmm. show up. So how long between each one of these? Uh, where because you're saying it's static, then it's the image, then it's static, then it's an, the younger image, then static, and then there's another one again. Mm -hmm. uh, Is there a pattern? Is that what you're? It like, seems to be like, you know, the pace of the ring. <laughs> I never watched it, but I kind of get the sense of it. Like, yeah. tsh, image, tsh, image, oh. tsh, image. And then it's just nothing but static for the next yeah. 39 minutes or so. Yeah. OK. That's what I was more concerned about. I was like, is there anything we're missing through the last 39 mm -hmm. minutes? But if not, OK. Then I hit stop. OK. And I am going to search for any sort of occult books that have that phrase in them. Oh, the spell. Kind of cross-referencing that with any books I may have read. Oh, okay. Oh, you think that she might not have made this up for the game? You think it might actually be based on something real? Maybe it's associated with a particular demon of the Goetia or something. <laughs> uh, it does not. It does not return anything. Hmm. It just seems to be a string of of uh, meaningless phonemes. Hmm. Yeah, it, 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 but it's it's like pronounceable-looking yeah. sounds. It's yes. Not just, okay. Yeah. From Tom, whatever, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's no information in the game that when we, if we pull up the the crazy Chris knife looking thing, mm -hmm. that game wise, there's there's no sort of lore. We can't s search library on the knife, can we? Uh. Not really. You can like flip it over and examine it, and it seems to be like coated in dried blood. Uh, right, but there's no associated articles or more lore that is revealed from having this thing. No. Okay. Um, it is almost like pathologically unadorned. Mm. Like you would expect this kind of thing to be really elaborate, but this one is like practical. It feels yeah. naked. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So that for the check. Um, this is the room that had the light on, not necessarily our room. 
Yes. Well, okay. the, the entire place is yours. For oh. Well, that's exciting. Because that's how they rent it. Yeah. Mm. I post yeah, a very good. They're not the kind of hotel that rents by the hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I post a very good selfie in the hallway. In the meantime, mm -hmm. I've recomposed myself. Is there any? I'm scanning around the room to see if there's anything else. And I'm looking through any drawers to see if there's other Whoa. films. Um, no other films. This seems to be the extent of the clues that were in this room. Okay. So we've done the basement, we've done the living room, we've done the bedroom. The hallway lights were on in the long hallway, in the foyer, and in this room. Yeah. I mean, we didn't go stand in the circle down in the living room. We just, like, found a circle. Hmm. Yeah. So if we go, all go back out to the second floor hallway, you're, which you're already there. Hey, what's up? Have hmm. you been seeing anything else in the hallway? I, I, I'm going to be honest, I was just updating my social. It's all good. Okay. So if we look around, the phone's not giving us a buzz. It's not giving us a... Uh, if you, Where are you exactly? Second floor hallway right outside that one room. No further buzzing. Oh. Where was the pulse? Yeah, where was the pulse the strongest? Uh, it wants you to go back to the living room. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. And then... then let's go. That. I'm going... Yeah, I'll go to the living room. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you approach the living room, your phones all begin to, like vibrate a little bit, and the heartbeat waveform gets louder. We didn't notice the heartbeat getting any louder when we were in the basement, right? No. No. Okay. So it's just in this area. Seems like the heart beneath the boards is in the foyer. Yeah. Please don't ever phrase it that way again. <laughs> Not a fan of Edgar Allan Poe? Who? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? It's your boy, Frankie. Having a good time, and I want to be vague because I can't spoil the puzzle, but I might have to be involved in some type of spell. And if I die, I just want you all to know that I love you. Frankie out. So, <sighs> we, we're all feeling the heartbeat, mm -hmm. or the pulse. Me. Yes. Let's not call it a heartbeat because we don't know if that's what it is. Mm -hmm. What's a pulse if not a heartbeat? Well, I just, you know... The I mean, rhythm. The rhythm um, of the game. Uh, pulse is like a bean. You should eat them to, like, uh, you know, for gains. Hmm. Uh, Jessica, this feels dissonant to you somehow, like an arrhythmia. Hmm. Almost. If this is a heartbeat, then this is out of sorts. Yeah. I feel like I would also notice that. Yes, actually, yeah. Yeah, you would. Yeah, if somebody... If this is a pulse and I encountered this at, like, Iron bi Biceps CrossFit, I'd be like... You should stop and see a doctor because uh, I can't have another person die on me. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like they have too much salt in their diet. Yeah. Yeah. They need to hydrate more. Um, okay. Give me idea rolls. We're gonna go stand in this stupid circle, aren't we? Oh, damn. Oh, wow. 15. Nice. Yeah, I've been rolling really well. Uh, pass by 49. Uh, pass by 49? Yeah. Wow. What is your idea? Uh, 75, and I rolled a 26. Yeah. Holy moly. Uh, I passed by 36. Okay. Uh, anyone who passed, you notice that the pulse changes depending on where you're standing in relation to one another. Is it like hot and cold? Yeah, kind of. It, it becomes dissonant one way if you move one way, and then another if you move a different way. I'm trying to work out a pattern between each of the people individually. If you stand in a square or at cardinal points, it and, seems and to put fall that, into like... And put that inside of this the circle? Mm -hmm. Probably. <sighs> All right. Like, totally not scared, but we should probably stand in this circle and see what happens. The game wants this... Like, you're, you're all welcome to back out if you're afraid. I get it, and I won't judge. Yeah. But... We should probably mm -hmm. stand in the circle. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, the rug's technically over top of it. It's fine. Like, I'm not worried. It's also, we're Do playing a phone worried? game, no. Frankie. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We are playing a game on our phones. And you just like, turn off your phone. No, it's my life. I cannot turn off my phone. Well, okay, figuratively, you could, like, turn off your phone. Let's go stand in the circle. Okay. Because that is what we are supposed to be doing. Yeah, I gotta figure out, we gotta see if anything wrong is gonna happen. Like, does any, it's like, yeah. if hey. there's any bugs or anything, right? She says she needs another set of eyes. Yeah. Fear is the mind killer. 
Which is, I, I saw in a movie once, I think. Mm -hmm. But, like, that's the thing. If you think you can't do that last pull-up, you're never going to do that last pull-up. If you can't, if you think you can't do that burpee, you're never going to do that burpee. So you just got to tell yourself, I can do that burpee. And now, substitute burpee for stand in a circle in a fake phone game. Also, I should probably tell her to not use a VCR because, I mean, none of you guys had a clue how to make that thing run. So, yeah, like yeah. a DVD player yeah. or something. Would Some probably sort of be DVR better. would probably be a good idea. Just like a file on a or tablet. Or just like a YouTube video. Like, yeah, come on, really, give yeah. the times, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As we're walking towards the circle, I'm also scanning the ceiling to see if there's anything up there above it. Uh, nothing on the ceiling above you. Yeah, yeah never look up. <laughs> Gamers can't look up. Okay, as you stand in the circle, the pulse on the phone uh, gets stronger and is clearer. Okay. Until, it, when you when you stand in alignment, then it like thump thump, thump thump, thump thump, very loud and very clear. Cool. Now that's the heartbeat of somebody who could do a burpee. Mm -hmm. Or hydrated correctly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything happening for you guys? I'm checking the inventory to see if anything's glittering or anything. I look at the, I look at the other people on the phone too. Sorry. The waveform is highlighted. Oh, mm. click. Um, it brings up the waveform mm -hmm. of the heartbeat, and then there is also a um, uh, another waveform in like gray. Hmm. Do you say hmm? Probably. That appears superimposed over it but it's like not the waveform it's looking for. Oh, we have to match it? Whoa! And also not the waveform it was looking for. They want us to say the spell. Yeah, creepy. Probably. And also not the waveform. Probably backwards. <laughs> okay, um, Norman, if you'd be so kind, you, you seem to be very familiar with the occult. Can you, can you sound out these words? Your car alarm goes off very loud. Oh, hell. Mm. Uh, hang on, guys. Give me a listen roll. Like just him or everyone? Uh, anyone who's paying attention, but that's like a startling. Yes. Um, pass by three. That came from your phone, not outside. Oh, my car alarm went off on my phone. The sound of my car alarm went off yes. on my phone. Huh? We like... Huh. It stops. Was that from the app? I guess. I don't have... I don't, I, the car's too old to have an alarm that ties into my phone like this. Maybe it was the... Not assistant, but the attendant's car? No, that, I, know that, I know that sound. I've had lots of guys like hit my car. I've heard the alarm go off, like, lots. Mm. That's my car. Let's go check the cars. I don't want my car broken into because I'm doing some sort of beta testing thing. Why would my phone do that? I, I, okay, so I, I, I like my car. I step out of the circle and I mm -hmm. and I turn off my phone. Okay, okay. I go to the door, open the door. My car is silent. Yes. Can there's, I like poke my head out, look around? Yeah, there's someone walking their dog. Is it a good dog? You're asking the wrong person, but sure, it's a good dog. Describe. It's a very. It is a purebred dog of the type you would expect to see being walked by somebody very affluent. Are their eyes weird? No. How about the dog's eyes? Also no. Okay, everything is fine. Hey, buddy walking a dog. I like your dog. Thank you. Did you see anybody like poking around? I could have sworn I heard our car alarms going off earlier. Haven't heard a thing. Huh, weird. Thanks, friend. No problem. I pull out my keys, make sure my car's locked. Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop. Pull on the hood. Hmm, weird. Yeah. All right, well. Go back inside, let the door shut behind us. Where are we? Right, okay. Turn the phone back on. Mm -hmm. um, you two are still standing in your spots, right? So would I still I'd be hearing the weird mm -hmm. heartbeat on my well, phone? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm probably uh, trying When to you left the circle, out. it did not become, it vanished. It did not become dissonant or anything. Uh, okay. It just went away. I'm probably trying to sound out yeah. the thing. Yeah, as you're doing that. Mostly it, correctly, but... Yeah. Um, give me an idea roll. Idea roll. Yep. Um, and, if you just try to say the sounds in reverse, it doesn't quite match up. But when you try to make it sound like your voice has been reversed, 
then it likes that. Mm. So like if you do the ba like try to do like the backward mas backwards masking voice, then oh, that right. matches oh, it. Ooh, that, that kind of noise. Yeah. I'm just picturing Latu, Veratas, Nick. Um, so I close the app. I open the I open the voice recorder app on my phone, mm -hmm. oh. and I get you to record saying it the right way, mm -hmm. so that we can reverse it and play it back when we're in when we're back in the circle again. Mm -hmm. So you say it. Or whatever the closest approximation to what you think is is the right read. Yeah. I step back onto my cardinal point on the on the circle where we were before. Yeah. Are we all in the circle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And then the the pulse reappears. Okay. And then I uh, and of course I don't have my app open at this point, so I'm reversing the the because th I have a special voice recorder app that can do this, and I. Ooh, actually, if if your app isn't open. Yeah. Your pulses are dissonant. If you're standing at the cardinal points. Uh, oh, hell. Does he do that without realizing that? Yeah. I mean, that. It's not going to work unless you have the app open. Or I'm just idea thinking, roll. Does anything happen oh. if it's dissonant and you do that? Idea roll. I get 12. No, 21. I get 21. Yeah. Uh, 16. I keep thinking That's, that's a good pass. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, maybe you try realigning yourselves inside the circle for three people. That would also work. I don't want to. I'm not afraid of wizards or anything, but I don't want to mess with their spell. We could try the three person thing, but. I mean, I, the game probably just like rescales it for however many people it, it has doing the app. Ah, thing. that's a good idea. Yeah. All right. I rolled a three versus <laughs> 75. So I yeah. really passed. Yeah, yeah, you have the same idea. Okay, that good. You, <laughs> I might know try more. Re, you might try rescaling. Refactoring the ritual for three players instead of four. Okay. All right. I guess and if try the that. scaling matches how many players there are, and this backfires for us, it'll be a weaker wizard that we unleash. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just worried that then I won't be able to play the game because you guys have gone on further without me. But well, okay. You know how you like play Pokemon Go and it doesn't figure out how to like turn off the game sounds when you're like listening to like a podcast or like the new. Kesha album. Oh right, like, like you play music in the background, yeah, right? Yeah, just do that. Okay. Um, Suffice it to say, if that's what you want to do, you can do that. Yeah, you want to be in the circle or not in the circle? I'm curious now. All you guys stand in an equilateral triangle. Does it actually? What happens when you do that? The pulses are pulled into alignment. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I want to play too. So. Get in here, bud. All right. Okay. Let's move back into the square like we were. Um, I'm going to set this up to repeat. All right. Hey, what up, everybody? It's Frankie. Vote to be in my first wizard spell. How Loop. cool is that? Hashtag wizard Frankie. Hashtag Frank. magic. Anyways, I hope nothing goes wrong, and I love you all. This, and this game's awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm not in the app yet, but I'm playing it back on a loop. This sounds right, right? The back, sure? Okay. It seems to match the waveform. Okay, okay, cool. Let's go back in the app. All right, I'm back in the app, and it is looping in this music in the background. Yeah, right. I'm looking. I'm looking at each other in the app while this music is looping. I'm looking at the ground at the circle to see if something's happening. Yeah, I'm probably um, looking at the ground. I'm thinking about where I'm going to go for a run tomorrow. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm going to go down to Dallas Road. That's nice. Ooh, go run up Mount Tolmy. I have to meal prep. <laughs> yeah. Frankie, you get a notification on your phone. Ooh. Saying that. You are needed downtown right now. There's a meetup going on. Oh. That you have to go to. Yo, this is kind of awkward, but I got like a thing that just came up. A game thing? Yeah. Or is this a dark wizard thing? Yeah, is it like one of my usual notifications? Yeah, it seems to be. Yeah, it's a, it's a work thing. Look. Like we're right in the middle of the game, though. Man. I know, I know, but my my career is really important, and I really got to keep that that content relevant. So, like, I'm sure we figured out it works with three people, so I should I should go. Oh no! Wait, hang on. I remember this. You never break a magic circle, uh, because something happens. Should I do an occult roll? Yes, right please. <laughs> What happens? Does the spell just stop? 
Yep, I pass by 25. In stories, mm -hmm. usually when people are doing this, trying to enact a ritual like this, whatever is being kept out of the circle will try to tempt people out of it in one way or another in order to break the spell. I'm Ooh. saying that to everyone. Here. Oh, it's like your car alarm went off. Yeah, yeah, because we were just about to do the thing and my car alarm went off. Oh. So, uh, and then now you're getting this, this notification. Is it in the app or outside no, of the app? No, this is outside the app. Like, that doesn't make sense. That is weird. Yeah. Well, but it's like, weird that it I got my minutes. car alarm. Because, like, we're really close to downtown, so let's just, like, finish this so we can at least, like, do this thing for Anna Okay, then. okay, but five minutes. Yeah. Because, like... Because, like, how long could this possibly take? It's a mobile yeah, game. Yeah, okay, okay. Fine, I think. Fine. Hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. So you play the noise back. It loops several times, and each time the, um, the waveform... Um, the the intensity of the color gets deeper, and the pulse grows stronger, and then the phone shakes. Cool. And uh, ooh, vibrations. Frank, aren't you glad you didn't leave? Yeah, this is kind of neat. And it, I'm living it says for this. <laughs> something. It suddenly there's like a, a, uh, an animation that plays, and then banishment dot mp4 placeholder ooh. appears in text in the middle. Well, I mean. Hey! I don't know and what then that means. several rewards appear. Hey, we did it. Did, did we like level up? Is there a level system in this yeah. game? Yeah, yeah. it says level two achieved. Ooh, cool! Neat. Hey. I'm glad I didn't go downtown. Thanks for making me stay, Jess. No worries. I'm looking through the rewards. Okay, yeah, there's like some kind of... It, 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 Currency and it stuff. It doesn't make any sense to you because you don't know what things are, but there's like various like skills have gone up. You got a power gem, sure. All right, I, I switch back to the I switch back to the um, the the uh, voice recorder and I hit stop. It's like we clearly we did the one we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, what the hell is a knife for then? Why do we have that knife? I on think us? it was for special effects because we're helping out or oh, something. Okay. Like it was probably just supposed to be fun, I guess. Neat. Okay. I, don't know. <laughs> I guess Anna's getting a really nice knife. Back in mm -hmm. the back in the app again. Anything else in the room lighting up? Like if we're level two, does this mean that we get to do like more stuff? She uh -huh. just wants us to test it. Like, I mean, obviously... As you scan around the room, um, the phone highlights a, uh, a mural on the wall. Like, this, the room has a bit of, like, a hunting lodge feel to it. And this, there's a big landscape with, like, you know, a deer. And um, you recognize it as being kind of like a local landscape, like part of the bay, maybe. Okay. Like, um, that's IRL. There. Yeah. But it's highlighted on the phone. Yeah. And um, if you tap it on the phone, okay. um, uh, it alters slowly. Um, bu -bu -bu. Uh, the, the image you see on the phone cycles slowly from day to night. And then the stars appear. And spin through a day-night cycle, and then today again, and then night, day, day, night, day, night, day, night, day, night, until it kind of like starts flickering almost. And um, the stars smear out into a radial pattern. And the deer in the front putrefies. Ugh. It collapses, and uh, the body starts to like decompose until it's just bones and seasons change, and the moon shoots by. Are you guys seeing this? Looks like um, a are really expensive Are you mural. holding up your phone? Were you holding your phone before when we, I was we, looking we at the mural? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you all see this happening. Um, but it's, no, it's unique to you, right? Give me a spot hidden roll. Oh, God. Oh. This is... I want to yeah. fail. Nice, you failed. I failed! Um, I rolled a 99. Wow. I also Ooh, failed. I passed. I failed. You fail, 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 pass. Yeah. You're transfixed by this. It's fascinating and terrible. And finally, the image stops on night. And um, it, it, is, it is a nighttime landscape in late autumn now with the bones of deer in the foreground. And the stars burn very brightly. And the moon is very bright as well. 
you notice a figure in the background of the painting now. The eyes are Corbett's, but the face is not. Give me an idea roll. Oh, okay. it's gonna be a, I thought it was going to be a sanity roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eesh. Failed that one hard. <laughs> okay. Is it a face that you, we recognize? Well, not now. Unless, unless you share this information. I mean, I'm sharing everything. Like, I'm really oh, into this. There's a guy in the background. Yeah. Where? I oh, don't, God. I don't, I don't see him. The eyes are Corbett's. But, mm. it, but it, there's a figure in the background. Mm -hmm. So I do see it now. Yeah. Yeah, you can notice so him. So you want to look at this point. and make a roll? If you want to. Uh, spot hidden or idea? Um, I think you can give me a disguise roll. Okay. Everyone else can give me an idea roll. Unless your idea roll is preferable. Nope, my disguise roll is 12. Who is okay. this person? Do I recognize them? It is... If you were to subtract the face in the portrait from the face in the VHS tape, you would be left with this person's face. This is the face that was composited onto ah, Corbett's. This is the original one. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's the face of a young man. Ooh. I found the original Corbett. Cool. The not, Ur Corbett. I'm not making this out. I rolled. I rolled 98. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll uh, did you? I pass. I'm oh, like, you yeah, pass? I totally yeah. think I yeah, see that. Yeah. You can now. totally see the resemblance now. Yeah. It's like if you took that and like separated them. I don't know, man. I got face blindness. It's so hard for me to tell people apart sometimes. Yeah. But this is in the future, going by the mural, going forward. Unless deers can go backwards. This is totally immortal wizard. Mm -hmm. Mortal okay. Wizard Corbin. Okay. Does anyone have astronomy? No. 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 Do you want to throw those dice anyways? Sure. Yes. I mean, this uh, get a 20 point bonus to your skill. Sure. Ooh. I did not. Oh. No, I, no, I did not. Make no, four? No, that's, that's 40. Exactly. Nope. Yeah, we so didn't I rolled a zero and a 40. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, thought it was, yeah. I keep thinking it's the other way around. Roll a cult, actually. If yeah, yeah, actually. Because there's... Yeah, cult, star cycles. Star yeah. stuff. <laughs> Lunar uh, yeah. cycles. Ooh. Got that one good. Ah, oh, Sam Hine. 18 against uh, 55. Yeah, that would be... um, That would be uh, Autumn Equinox. Mm. That's very important for witches, just mm. so all of you know. Okay. It is, it is a specific date and a specific location, in fact. Mm. Ooh, where's that? It's a clue! Feel like would he know the map of that? Oh, uh, I mean, like it. If this is what the lunar cycle should be, mm. then you know what date that would be on that past to cultural. And oh, okay. if anyone knows the local area, you might be able to identify this landscape. Does it be a no roll? Yes. I feel like you would know the area because you oh, jog it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like Thirty-eight is like that's not true. Eighty-eight. I do not know. Oh, wait, oh no. I failed by one point on my no. Yeah. It looks it's, familiar, but... I got it. I got it. Sorry, I, I keep getting my dice backwards. Oh. Mm -hmm. I pass. Okay. Then, yes, you are able to identify this location. Ooh. It is a bay nearby. You've taken a lot of photos like there. Like Caddy yeah. Bay? Yeah. 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 Or uh, Foul Bay, maybe. or It's like, yo, my last photo shoot was here in this place. You should see them. And instead of sharing the information, I pull up the photos. Mm. You can see the, the, the hills in the background, maybe the islands. See? Yeah. Don't they look the same? It's like 80% me, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure, like the, yeah. the, the fidelity on the mural might not be exact. Mm. All right. huh. Cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that is... Oh. That, that seems to be the entire game. The entire session. Do they want us to go to that place next? Uh, she just said she was going to rent the house for us for the night. I, which is weird, because mm -hmm. I feel like we got through it awfully fast, but... I mean, is there? This might be a roughly analogous to like a Pokemon raid, ah. right? Like you spend half an hour doing a thing, maybe. Yeah. That kind of scale. Right. Mm -hmm. It's weird though. Why would they pick like? Why would they pick uh, that for the? I don't know. At some point, I also have to go downtown and, and deal with this business that I got texted. Mm. No, I don't know if I actually texted you, man, because I mean, like, they, I, I, got a, I got a car alarm on my phone, which my phone's not able to do. It does not seem to have been a genuine uh, notification. What? 
Yeah, text your buddies and ask them. Did they invite you downtown or not? Yo, do you invite me? Is this party happening? Send. What party, man? I'm at the gym. Right? I think the app's just screwing with us. Like, it was in my car. It knows what kind of car I drive. It, it probably knows the, probably, like, checks my Amazon receipts and saw the car alarm I bought and installed, like, three years ago. It probably knows all this stuff about us. Man, I don't think I gave it access to my contacts. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. That That's a little know. much, right? Like, she shouldn't be doing that to us. Yeah, we better put that in the notes. Yeah, I'm writing that. Mm. Underlining it. All right, anyhow, this was cool and all, but like we should prob we could probably just go now. I just don't mm. I just don't get why that happened. Like if if we banished it and then we we hold up the thing and this whole weird thing happens with the deer and then the dude you say that you saw who's like young Corbett or like looks like has the has the same eyes, right? Like it's why even oh, do sorry, that? To prevent misunderstandings. The person in the mural, yeah. Their face is uh the one that was superimposed oh. to make the composite face I see. that you saw in the tape. I see. Okay. Make so this is not tape. Corbett. This is whoever... I mean, Corbett wasn't Corbett. Corbett was also a composite. This is an additional face superimposed over that one. Oh. But it has the same eyes. Same eyes. Kept the eyes. Yeah. Like right. the eyes, maybe. This is whoever... This is whatever stock photo model that Anna thought was... The, the look of her game. Yeah, but from like a gameplay perspective, it doesn't make sense. Like we stood in the circle, it that never came up. We scanned the whole room, that never came up, right? Oh, we didn't level up. And we leveled up, and then we're done. But then I, I'm looking around, and then that happens, and it's like, okay, so this is a new clue. This is level two. Maybe we're supposed to keep going. Uh, it occurs to you that the, if what Norman said is correct, this won't happen for a couple of weeks. Ah, because it happens with the Man. Equinox. I guess it's like one of the, yeah, I guess it's like go do the next thing because that's the next part of the quest line, I guess. I mean, look, we're all, get, we're all getting paid to do the beta testing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think maybe the best thing to do is just like, you know, put, mark it down in our calendars and like, uh, and like, I don't know, come back here or call Anna or something and find out what she wants us to do next. Like, Meet at that cafe. Mm. We have to submit our... Bug reports, anyway. We just go back and see her and just say, okay, well, we found level two. So, like, are we supposed to, like, are we supposed to go back to the house? Or are we supposed to go to the place that's in, like, we're supposed to find that guy and banish him. I know we banished something. But well, maybe he's the one we're supposed to banish. Yeah, let's meet at the cafe tomorrow. Let's try and meet up with Aaron? Anna. 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 <laughs> meet up with Anna. And then, uh, worst case scenario, let's just go to this raid. Let's go to this. Uh, let's go to this level two yeah. beach thing. Worst case scenario, I get some sweet shots at that beach because it's a real good beach. We got <clears throat> sure. And I mean, I got time like two weeks from now. I'll be fine. Uh, I like I'd have to check my schedule. This was supposed to be for one night. Sure, whatever. In theory, yes. But if I pick up a shift, like doing some personal training, no. But like, we'll worry about that in two weeks. So, like. You would ask her for more money. That's true. But I do have to go grocery shopping now. So hmm. can we vamoose from this house? Sure, yeah. Do you guys like to we'll trade right. contact information out by our car? Yeah, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right. So you break up for the night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You all go home, mm -hmm. presumably. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you go to sleep. You sleep fitfully. Ooh. Next morning, you wake up, presumably. Yeah. I'm not so. going to tell you how to live your lives, but you go through you know your morning routine, your afternoon routine. Okay. Norman, you're at work. Mm -hmm. uh, a kind of haggard-looking man comes in, and he approaches the the pharmacy desk, and he says that, uh, "Hi, I'm I'm looking to buy a, a valerian root. I did some research online, and I think I need valerian root, and it's said to come here for it." You had the highest, highest reviews. Oh, nice. Thank <laughs> you for those reviews, all those people. Um, what exactly is your condition, though? Uh, having trouble sleeping. Mm. Apparently, I just need to, uh, yeah, this, this seems to be the right choice for me. I did a lot of research online. I mean, it's a different for everyone, but this can be a good starting off point. OK. Yeah, I think I've just had a lot of trouble with, like, um, sleep discipline lately. Oh, that's that's normal in this millennial age. Hmm. 
Um, yeah, uh, so he is very insistent on what he wants. And then he s mentions offhand, yeah, this cropped up a couple of weeks ago. I did this weird test for a nap. And then I had trouble sleeping afterwards. Oh, like this app? And I show it on my phone because I've been kind of poking at it here right. and there in between. He, he looks at you and is like, come on, what the fuck? What are, are you an actor? Come I mean, on, man, what's going on? Where? He seems actually like quite agitated and upset now. Do you want some lavender to calm down? He throws the valerian root at you and is like, I want you to leave me alone. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. And he walks out. And like as he walks out, he spikes his phone into the garbage on the sidewalk. Have a good day. He, you're, the store manager comes over and says, are, are you okay? What happened? I mean, not the first time someone's been mad at us for something they thought would work. Okay, as long yeah. as you're okay. Well, they won't, they won't come back. Yeah, I'll, I'll retrieve their phone. Maybe, maybe I can get it back to them or something. Ooh, clever. Um, do you do that? Yep. Okay. It, uh, yeah. Uh, you find it, like, basically on top. It seemed to have hit a lucky layer of dense newspapers and other debris <laughs> instead of sinking through, like, several strata of, of coffee cups. Yeah, newspaper's still a thing this far in the future. Ooh. I made something up and I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's four years, Beige. Yeah. Peter. You get called to a job. All right. Um, it's at an apartment, and the woman at the apartment, she introduces herself. Her name is Deirdre, and she's having a hell of a time with her phone. OK. Yeah. Um, she says that she um, is getting weird notifications, and um, like it's interfering with her app. Like An app she downloaded is interfering with her apps, oh. basically. And she's tried to get rid of it, and it keeps coming back. Oh, that's weird. Like, no, that, I mean, that's not normal that that should happen. Here, I'll tell you what. You, you unlock your phone, hand me your phone, and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Mm. It is, it is the Call of Cthulhu app. It is Music of the Spheres. Oh, neat. Yeah, she's, she says, I'm not supposed to mention it, really. I signed an NDA, but I, I was testing it, and I think it's just broken. I don't know how to get rid of it. Okay, I mean, you've probably tried the whole like wait till it jiggles, right? Like you know, and you hit it. Yeah, yeah, and then you hit. Yeah, I do that, and it comes back in a yeah. couple of hours. Okay, let me go into your settings. Uh, you can delete from here as well. It's like oh, it's auto updating. It's got an auto update on. Oh man. Um, huh. How long ago did you install this? About three weeks. And just do you, and so did um. What was this for? Was this a game or something? Yeah, yeah, I was beta testing it. Oh well, I mean, didn't the didn't the person, the woman running the beta test, didn't she like uh, tell you to like show, get get rid of it off your phone when you were done? I didn't say it was a woman. I I mean, I just guessed because women can make apps too. Right, we live in a very modern age where anybody can make any type of app they want. I'd like my phone back, please. I mean, sure. Like, I'm still gonna bill for this call, right? Like, you understand that? Sure, sure, whatever. Yeah, okay. Thank, here's, thank here's your you. Back. She um, chews you out the door. Okay. Jessica, you're yeah. at work mm -hmm. when a um, uh, a young woman comes in, and she uh, asks for a trainer. She asks for you by name. Cool and says, I was given this coupon. And the coupons are usually a giant pain in the ass because they discount your rate. Mm. But this is one of the good ones. Mm. This one just, the gym covers this one. Mm. And you so get your full I'm rate. So at first I'm like, huh. And I'm like, ah, oh, well, yeah. look at the coupon. Yeah. Um, she's like, do you do like your, I guess you would have an interview 
if you're setting up a personal trainer for someone? Yeah, I was like, what are your, okay, so you'd like personal training. What are, what are your goals? Are you looking to, imp and what's your like current level of fitness at, right? Um, you know, I, I, I used to run and swim. Uh, mainly I've been having trouble sleeping at night though. Oh. And hmm. Yeah, I am. Um, well. I, I just want, you know, I've heard fitness can help with that. Exercise is a great way to tire yourself out. Uh, so yeah, like, you know, we can do an assessment to see what you're sort of comfortable with and then we can develop a workout routine that will push you, but not like so much that you collapse when you get out of here, but you'll sleep soundly at night, mm. you know. So, uh, you know, we'll go through that and stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lifting. Uh, nice, good form, whatever. So are there any, but you know, sometimes people have sleeping or have trouble sleeping because there's like psychological issues going on mm. in their life. Do you have like work stress or like how are your interpersonal relationships? Like, oh, yeah. it's all fine. I just, it started a couple of weeks ago. I don't like, I played this stupid game and it started of giving me like nightmares. Oh, like one of them spooky games on Steam yeah, or something? Yeah, I, I don't usually do horror games. This was a mobile game. Oh, huh. That's funny. Mm -hmm. What kind of mobile game? I'm not really supposed to talk about it. It was, it, it was an advanced test for it. Were you beta testing? A Cthulhu app. How'd you know? I was in that beta test too. Do you? Do you issue coupons like? Where did this come from? How am I here? Why? Why? Why this? You're the one who brought the coupon in. Like we do, like Groupon promotions. We do things in like for like people who like sign up at like a partner gym. You know, like we support, we like, give out coupons for like people who do dragon boat racing and stuff. Like this isn't I, a coupon I normally see, but we ought, we issue lots of these. Where did you get it? It just it was in my email. It was a promotion. That's kind of weird. I don't think we really do like just like email promotions. Did you sign up for like a newsletter? You know, maybe, maybe I should go. Maybe I should go. I mean, Th sure. thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to have wasted your time. I'm sorry. That's okay. Like if you just want to like increase your exercise level, you could try a couch to 5k. Goodbye. <laughs> huh? That's weird. Frankie. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, you, Frankie. Your day passes without event. I'm very busy. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. Now, now you've it'll sneak up on us in 45 <laughs> seconds after you've lost it. Yeah. It's just, just out of nowhere. This is right? the real curse right here: is the sneeze. Yeah. yeah. When you've what have you done to me? You successfully suppress the sneeze, and you're like, "Oh, it's gone. It's weird. I wonder where." Ah, shoo! <laughs> right? Like it, it, it's still inside your head. Um. So do you arrange a meeting with Anna? Uh, you said that you were yeah, planning to? Yeah, sure. let's do yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is the very last part. Yo, um, Jess, can you pick me up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blast by. And All right. In the, the RAV4. Yeah. I am already there. Mm. Um, I'm already at the same the same place being like, being like uh, talking to the, the barkeep. Right. Like, She's here, right? She's here. Like, we got to... Yeah, yeah, she's in the same room in the back. All right, cool. All right, I go to, into the back room. This is a usual haunt for me, so mm. like I saw her come in. Oh, okay, yeah, then you would have been like, she would have been like, hey, Norman, how'd it go? Good, you know. Um, I mean, someone had their phone and they spiked it into the trash because they were mad at the app. Maybe Wait, you? who? Some guy. He, he came to our store, had sleeping problems. Seems like he has stress problems as well. Do, anyway, you, do you mind? Yeah, I mean, you would have his contact information, not me. Uh, she activates the phone but can't, you know, doesn't know the passcode or anything. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize that one? You took all the specs. She looks thoughtfully at it for a moment and says, this is Valentine's phone. Hmm. I've met nicer people. I burst. Seemed in, nice to me. I burst into the room, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, 
Anna, if you put some weird shit on my phone and it's going to stay on there for a while, I'm going to be super upset with you. No, it should come off cleanly. Like, I... It's it's in its own... You know, sandbox. It's, yeah, basically. Yeah, like, no, I got a call to come in uh, and help somebody, and it turns out that they're beta testing the same app. And, you know, she seemed nice enough and everything, but, like... Uh, she handed her phone because she wanted to get rid of the. She wanted to get rid of the the app. She said she's had like whoa, all sorts whoa, of whoa, nightmares and whoa, stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're saying that, like this? This isn't in the app. This happened in real life. Yeah, yeah. No, I got a call to go see this woman. Who? who? <sighs> her name was Deirdre. All oh, right, Deirdre. Yeah, her, her, yeah. Her name was Deirdre. Um, yeah, no. I mean, she was like, she was like, she couldn't delete the app from the phone, so she gave it to me. So that I tried to delete the app from the phone, and I went to like the settings and everything, and you could see it like go away, but then pop back up, and it was like updating again. And which is like super weird because we didn't get any updates when you like when we first installed it. Whoa, I don't really okay, understand. okay. It was. Were you able to get rid of it? No, like that's the thing is like every time I delete it, it just kind of like it would it'd be gone for a few seconds and then it just pop back up again. And I was going to tell her to format her phone, but we were we started talking and she just wanted her phone back because like I assumed I I said to her that you know that oh well you know whoever installed the app would just have a way to get rid of the app when it was done. Didn't you do that? Didn't you delete the yeah, app? Off yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, she okay, threw me weird. out the moment I mentioned that. I'll okay. I'll, I'll I'll look into this. That's thank you. Thank you for telling me. Um, I also hand her the notes, the large notes I mean, that we had, the very detailed notes. Oh, you were you were actually taking yeah. the paper, bugs. You were taking yeah. paper notes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you reporting. so much. Um, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Anyone else arrive? Yeah. Rolling. Together, so, oh, hey, Anna. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Gucci, well, thank looking good. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, of course. Um, so, what did you think? Uh, I liked the app, but then it did, like, a weird thing. Like, I don't know, like, I'm not, like, an apps person, but, like, after he, like, did the banishment or whatever, like, another weird mural popped up. And, like, shouldn't that have triggered earlier? It was like had like a weird picture of some stars on it and like a rotting deer, which was cool. Uh, what? Yeah. So, I wasn't afraid, but you should you should really be clear because some other people might get kind of spooked. But it was pretty cool. Yeah, you know the 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 video that you had running over top of the mural, right? We I held up my phone, I was scanning the room, yeah. act and saw it highlight, so I activated it, and then you know when the the time would change, and the and the you know the stars would spin by, and the and the deer's would the deer would die. So we there's, signed up for one day, but now we've got this equinox event. Yeah, which is super no, weird. What, what are you talking? There's no equinox event. Video. Yeah, it was like literally like a whole video play. It was really good quality too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it was better than most of the stuff you had. All this other placeholder stuff, which was kind of cool, but whatnot. Oh man, we left her knife. We left her knife at the house. Yeah, Did you get your knife back? I got it. I got it. You got the knife. Yeah, I took it with. I, I, I yes, I took it with me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we left the packaging yeah, at the yeah, house. Yeah. yeah, You ordered that toy knife, and then you got that German, like, really hot, like, like cool looking knife for your, like, your kitchen knife, right? Yeah, that you I'll ordered pull it off out. Amazon. This thing. Oh, you did bring it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's an Amazon box addressed to you in the basement, like underneath where the circle was and the picture of the knife was, which was very cute and like nice. But Amazon goofed up big. They they made a big mistake. Instead of sending you a toy knife, they sent you this really sick knife. So that's like a cool bonus, I guess. Yeah. But like that doesn't seem scalable I, for like a big test with lots of people. It was just supposed to be a toy knife that would be a kind of a fun prop. Oh, it'll benefit you then, I guess, yeah. right? You get this cool new knife. Yeah. Sounds I, like human error. I tried happens. to hand it to Anna. I don't know if you want to like send it back to Amazon or something. She I mean, just I puts would... it on the table and is like, whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> there was a video playing over a mural. Yeah, you know the big the big hunting mural they have in the in the living room? Can you show it to me? Oh. <sighs> I mean, it, why don't we go, we can go to the house together. I'm or, sure. I feel like I took a photo of it. Okay. To see like if I could put it in the inventory and on yeah. the pin board and stuff. Yeah, it, it, for the record, it went into your notebook. Oh, 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 oh I guess, yeah, sure, here. It is yeah, yeah, she, she asks you to, to show it to her. Um, she scrubs through it and sees the figure at the end. Mm hmm.
You met Valentine. Briefly? And you met Deirdre. Yeah. Jessica, did you meet anyone? I said, I had somebody who came in today, like, with a coupon, which was kind of weird, but not unheard of. And then she said she was having trouble sleeping because she was in an app beta. Oh, my God. And then I was like, oh, man, I was in the same beta. And then she was like, maybe I'll was, just try What's her name Leslie? I didn't get her name. She was, like, a small woman with, like, dark hair. Well, that's all of them, then. That's the, um, that's my last beta test group. You only have And three? she... This is George. Neat. How'd you hire George to do all this stuff for you? <laughs> all right. Join us next week ah! for the thrilling conclusion to Music of the Spheres here on Dice Friends. Until then, have spoopy times.